Ed, it's time to dream. Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll give you a reason to be sad. Oh, God. Uh, Roll for sadness. We are oh, no. alive, and you are, dr and you are sleeping in the Temple of the Oracle before the next day. And you, bo uh, you both, or all three of you, get the same dream tonight. A woman's voice suddenly emanates from the darkness around you. So, your great quest begins. Off to become heroes, are you? Mortals are so very proud. The light shines in the dark, illuminating the sad and pathetic figure of an old man who has been hogtied to a stick. Look at this one. He's falling to pieces, joint stiff, skin slack, teeth gone. The life is practically dripping out of him. Inky black shadows fall across the old man. He flinches and squirms and panics as something draws closer, something that you cannot see. Yes, his sad mortal life is leaking away. But I wonder what will happen to his soul. The old man thrashes against his restraint, screaming into his gags as a butcher's knife descends and you awaken from the nightmare, bathing in sweat. And I would like you to roll a DC 20 wisdom save. I, I, would, I, I would like to uh, remind people that I'm not mortal. And so that might not have the same effect on me, but I don't know if I can just make a DC 20. You can make it with advantage. All right. All so of, close to passing. All of, the, all of that failed. So then I would like D100s to be rolled. Such a high roller today. <laughs> wow. I, I'm just, I'm just going to say this. Hey, if you need a DC-20 uh, uh, save, uh, what level? Three. You don't know what the effect is going to be yet. I, I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> that usually does not work out well for the level three or four person. So you're rolling low, Everine. I'm rolling middling, and and uh, uh, what is my friend's name? Is rolling high. And, uh, Iris. Iris. That's the other one that, that was the other one that uh, dreamt. So uh, for both Everine and Iris, it's not actually that bad. You wake up out of your bed. You look around, and Everine, you had an 11. You try to move, but you are paralyzed. Mm. Trying to look around, you could... Moving your eyes a bit, you can see the Sting face staring at you scarily. But not able to move. You hear a... Uh, you hear a fall from the other room. Well, it's Iris's room, but there are... You can hear the smack, but you can't see what happened because both the doors are closed. And then we move to the bed chamber. Xenon. Uh-huh. You, uh, you get illusions, and as you wake up, you... Uh, you you don't sleep next to uh, you don't sleep next to Versi, but you sleep next uh, next to the person that you tried to escape five hundred years ago. Oh, Estor Arklander. I told you, no one escapes me. Well, to do it for five hundred years, I think I can do it again, and. Hey, maybe I'll come looking for you this time. I've already found you. Okay. And you, and soon enough, everyone returns to Estor. You 
will be mine as he as you see his hand go towards your throat. Uh I will uh, uh what is it called? I will dodge. Alright. Go ahead, make an uh, make an acrobatics check. Acrobatics? Yeah, he's trying to grapple you, so uh, you can either dodge it with a strength, or with an athletics, or with an acrobatics. Weirdly enough, they are the same thing. I, 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 I'm a beefy boy. Thirteen. You manage to, uh, you manage to uh, dodge out of the bed and wave him as the Estor Arklander tries to approach you again. What do you do? Estor, let's not do this here. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. And honestly, I really don't care enough about you to to fight you. Your parents promised you to me, and I will have my property. Come get some. And like all my hair like snaps forward and 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 Bob, one of the snakes, like tries to snap forward, but he's like confused and snaps backwards. <laughs> As he comes closer towards you. Attempt to do so again. What would you like to do? I am going to dodge again. Right. Uh, actually, I'm going to try to do a perception check to see where uh, my beloved is uh, and see if she's okay. You make it Actually. You can't see her anywhere. All right. Then I'm going to back up, and um, I guess that was my turn to perception check. Mm -hmm. So he, he's going to try and grapple you again, this time with a 14. Okay. Yeah, he grabs me. He grabs you, and tries to drag you away. Okay. Towards the water. Uh, well, there's water in here? Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he don't do that. All right. Uh, so what happens is, as a reaction, I use telekinetic, where I can do that push thing with telekinetic. All right. As, as he is shoved into the water, tsh, you uh, you snap out of it. Estor is gone, and you see Versi as she fell into the water. Hi. Are you okay, oh, hello, my love? Uh, yes. Uh, I thought you were an old acquaintance. Who is this Estor? Uh, you remember the person I mentioned to you? You know, the giant asshole uh, who tried to uh marry me against my wishes. And then I, yeah, I know I don't actually call him Estor. Uh, I called him that asshole, but yes, it was. That's who I dreamed. Uh, did I hear the hear the thump from another room? Uh, no, they're up all the way upstairs, and there's stone between you. Uh... Okay, so as the uh, as uh, I'm assuming I've had nightmares about this before. <laughs> not there, not in this way. <laughs> As she looks, I know what's happening. The Theria, the Titan of Dreams, was invading your dreams and causing problems. Well, I am very glad I did not attack. <laughs> I'm glad too. We should check on the others. Go towards the other uh, locations where it is 
Iris and uh, on the le on the left side Everin's uh, chamber and on the right side Iris's ch her chamber. Uh, I, I know uh, Everin can take care of herself, and it might be safer for her to be alone right now because I know that she is master of blades, <laughs> and surprising her in her sleep might be um, hazardous to one's health. So Get I will. Chakram thrown at you. <laughs> yeah, or two swords coming at my face <laughs> at high speed. Yeah. Uh, so. I will go check on Iris. And I will lock uh, Everin's door for right now. If you open uh, Iris' her chamber, you see her lying unconscious on the ground. Okie dokie. That's a medicine check. Try to get her up. Do I have a medical kit? Nope, I'm gonna to have to buy one. Let's see and check. You, uh, she, uh, as you, uh, do some things to her. It's the, um, the space grab. Do you know that one that, uh, Spock does a lot to get people unconscious? That's actually a technique to get people conscious officially. Okay. Uh, you have the Vulcan neck pinch. Mm -hmm. So it actually does the reverse of what it's supposed to do, but she awakens and is like, Zidon, I had this terrible dream of an old man of, of an old man being tortured. Then, an old... then when I tried to w wake up, I fell down here. What's going on? Uh, uh, my beloved has just explained that. Uh, the Titan of Dreams is making a preemptive attack. Let us go check on uh, our other friend. It seems that that uh, they are messing with anyone who is a dragon lord or has the possibility of becoming one. And I will knock on with uh, Iris behind me and um, the, the seer. I'm going to knock on Everin's door. No sound. I'm gonna give you inspiration for that knock. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to then unlock the door or unbar whatever I did to it. Let me see. Open, sorry, open it slowly. Everin, I am coming in. Please do not attack me or send a a a. a Mechanical bird to blow my up my eardrops. Please. And I will slowly look around, opening the door, ready to cast a spell as a reaction. As you open the door, you do see Everin, and she's just motionlessly, emotionlessly staring at the wall, not moving anything. Yeah, um, she's not moving. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my um, telekin telekinetic abilities to basically, like, tap her on the shoulder <laughs> from far away. Are her weapons anywhere near? Uh, Are they? I mean, she probably sleeps with her chakrams under her pillow. <laughs> So she currently does not have have them on her. Yeah. No. Yeah. St still, um, still tapping her on the shoulder with the with the mage hand. You can see eye movement in Everin's uh, body, but nothing else. Okay. Uh, I will. You two stand back for just a moment. I'm going to... But you you may have to have, assist me with her momentarily, but I'm going to try to shake her awake, and if that doesn't work, 
been come in, but if you see little word, she is a very excellent fighter. And uh, another medicine check. You do the same uh, hold, and then she finally is able to move, but it hurts a bit. Everyone uh, can finally move again and talk. Uh, I'm going to place myself between uh, the seer and uh, Iris, just in case. It was horrible. Uh, Bad dream about an old man who uh, was dying and another old man who was torturing him. Sort of. It's an old man who's chained up. There was a woman's voice. Oh, yeah, I mean a woman, sorry. <laughs> and then, like, Shadow's torturing the dude, I think. Yeah, and then I woke up and I couldn't move. I mean, I have days where I feel heavy, but that was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, I woke up and I was very close to attacking. Uh, and I just point to uh, the CRS. So. Oh. But yeah. honestly, uh, what was his name? Es Esoric? Estor. Estor. Like, but Honor is honestly, Estor is just an asshole who's not worth attacking. And I thought it would be more dangerous to attack him than to... He was a very powerful dragon lord. And I did not want to escalate things. Anyway, enough about me. Um, so, all the three of us, and I will point to Iris and Everine, have had these dreams. Mm. It's an attack from the titan of dreams she is f uh, finding someone in the dream world is hard but they uh, she has found you in my temple this means another attack she won't be able to do uh, this night so you're safe for now but the next one she will do as she's pierced your dreams will be far worse than this one Oh, Find, yeah. uh, finding you in my temple again will be easy for her. It'll take time. But this would mean, my love, she holds your hand. Until Lefiria is beaten, you cannot return to my temple. I, I, thought you were I thought you were going to say something like that. And I look at Iris. Unfortunately, you seem to be part of all of this. I was going to have a talk with you about it. But it seems that we are going to have to have that talk on the road. I would definitely say goodbye to all my friends if I were you. And prepare. You will not be back anytime soon, I do not think. I will do so in the morning, says Iris. All the others are sleeping. I don't want to wake them. We still have a, po a, c a couple of hours before daybreak comes. Yes, and I think I'm going to go to sleep in a guest room just in case. <laughs> I will lock your rooms for the night just in case, says Fursi. Very good idea. And she locks the rooms. Several hours pass that you can still take a little bit of sleep as the morning comes. You eat breakfast of the temple. Iris uh, says goodbye to all her friends in the uh, in the temple, and the carpet is ready to bring you to Astoria, the city. Soon as you're done. Good. And I... 
I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely going to be scared of sleeping. Grab we got the carpet, though. As yes. I don't feel like playing. I'm not so scared of sleeping. I have bad dreams about Esther all the time. I'm just going to miss a certain someone quite a lot. But uh, she does not really have all the, that many problems contacting me. So I, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I would like to apologize to you. I'm saying this after I'm like prepared and we're on the carpet flying. <laughs> and, and I was there too. So I was a bit late in coming to assist you because I was worried about your martial prowess. Oh, by the way, is the is the bard lady with us? No, she left uh, the last day. She she said she would go to Astoria beforehand to tell the tales of your heroic actions. Her version. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm writing down the real versions. <laughs> An accurate depiction. Now, uh, I am going to roll for random encounters, but here's the okay. thing you're on a flying carpet. So if you don't feel up for like a random encounter, you can just fly past it. That's no problem. Just, but ooh, then you'll have the cool. context of if something happens. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, is everything cool? Yeah. So I'd just be flying so over so here. Yeah. Uh, yes, I am sad today. Do you say that out loud? Like that? It is a bad day. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. But it's not that bad. We still have our lives. You did not murder me. So I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. It just... It just feels like the weight of history is dragging me down. Hmm. I see the fanny pack. Go back to the 80s where you belong. I see the <laughs> fanny pack. Go back to the 80s where you belong. Uh, sorry, uh, I had to talk to somebody real quick. Um, uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, hi history may be weighing you down, but you make up for your your history every single day. So, and I have seen you do it. So why don't, don't you just do that and lighten up a little bit? Uh, I'll try. Hello, all you residents. Again, sorry. Uh, uh, so I would like to... Tariq, you should mute yourself. You're on the stream. No, uh, I, I know. <laughs> That's why I said I would like to. Uh, I would like to make some kind of roll to, to see if I can understand why uh, Everine's mood is flipping so... That'd be a Back and check. Okay. All right. Yes, you would know. Long ago, sirens were seen as a happy race that served the uh, that served the titans. Before the uh, the mortal races and the or the settler races of Tylea came in as the sirens were natives. The natives, uh, they were the first races to actually uh, go on friendly terms with the, uh, with the humans and other things that came. And uh, this angered the titans so much 
that they punished the uh, sirens for it. The uh, the pun the, the uh, one of the punishment uh, the one of the punishments was that the Titan Sidon sank their city, their entire civilization got Atlantis, and Lufia, the other Titan, decided to curse them into turning them into turning the sirens into the first harpies. This has caused many. Um, uh, this has caused their culture among themselves and Imra in their genes to feel a sadness for the mourning of their culture, but also for a chance to regain hope to rebuild their culture. And that is why uh, sirens generally have many mood swings on a daily basis. I will address this in about exactly five minutes. I have to do something and I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I can hear y'all though. I just can't see. <laughs> Cyclops, and the Cyclops is uh, sees you guys, picks up a rock, and attempts to throw it at you guys, but it horribly misses. But she, uh, but his female Cyclops is already standing ready to pick up the next rock. Oh, would be a fun fight. Uh... I don't know. It's a bad day. I don't feel like getting into a fight. I don't need to. Away, carpet! Alright, then I would like you to make me a... Uh, let's say make an acrobatics check to see if you can uh, avoid the... Um, avoid... Like, you can... Uh, eventually, you're going to outfly the, uh, the rocks anyway, but to see if you can avoid yeah. at least a couple. Yeah. About it. Right, so yeah, you make a couple of flip flops and uh, upside downers, and you uh, take a couple of circles around the uh, around the cyclops, and then you fly away. The cyclops is completely dizzied by your movement and completely confused. <laughs> with that, that is the random encounter done for, as that was pretty easy with a uh, flying carpet. As you continue your way towards Astoria, uh, along the way toward, uh, along the way uh, on Astoria, something else happens. A flash, faster than the carpet, a silver flash flies past you, and a sound comes from it. Uh, here we have the sound file for it. As a extremely aggressive dragon flies past you towards Astoria, and from afar, because it's so much faster than you guys, or so much faster than the carpet, you can see it land inside Astoria. It was mounted by one man, but you couldn't get a good look at him. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. I bury my face in the carpet and I try and pull the carpet to go in another direction that isn't Historia. <laughs> the carpet like starts struggling a bit. Like, what? What? It can't really talk and like as you bury your face in it the, the carpet tries to like pat you on the shoulder like oi 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 as uh, Iris asks, uh, Everine, is something wrong? <laughs> Yeah, I'm roar. We can't. <laughs> you mean the dragon? <laughs> it's okay, Everine. Calm down. As she tries to move a bit closer towards you and uh, give you a hug. Calm down, calm down. It hasn't attacked the city yet, so. I'll 
Hopefully, we're safe. Eh. Uh, sorry. As you, uh, uh as, you, as the carpet, like, lowers itself a bit, and just outside of the city, it, uh, lands and, uh, makes, like, a, uh, form of a staircase to step off of the carpet. I will step off the carpet, and I will just sort of try and collect myself a bit. I straighten myself up, so I look towards the sweet city, and then just sort of turn around, take a few steps away, hop on the spot before turning back to the city. Just... <sighs> Don't worry, Avarine. Don't worry. We can rest here for a little bit. Maybe the dragon. Okay, so maybe the dragon will leave. Move. If we yeah. you go, and, uh, right. yeah. and Gatorade. So I got to go to another Costco. But here's it. Toilet paper, and chicken, and all this other stuff in the box. <laughs> it's quite distracting, uh, Eric. This background now. <laughs> Let's wait a bit until he's done. Yeah. yeah. It's right here. Thank you. Temporary oh. interlude. Thank you as well. And I'll give you here the map of Astoria. Forehand. You would be somewhere here. Um, like uh, five minutes away from the south gate. Oh, five away from the south gate. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 You didn't hear all that other stuff, did you? Yes. That's why yeah, we. Uh, that's why the. We're, 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 that's why we caught a. Uh, there was an emotional scene, and we uh, we uh, paused it because it was a bit too distracting. I apologize. I thought I had myself muted. <laughs> <laughs> but, but believe me, I was more distracted than you guys. <laughs> like everything was happening all everywhere, all at once. Um, so what ha what happened was that uh, a dragon, a silver dragon, flew past you guys at an, a a large speed with a large roar, and uh, Everine had a uh, mental breakdown. So you guys landed. Uh, the the dragon landed in the city of Astoria, where you were headed. And the carpet decided to land not inside the city, but just outside of its gates because it uh, saw that Everine was uh, very disturbed and uh, Iris tried to comfort her. Uh, did I recognize the the dragon? The no. Okay. Um, you haven't seen a dragon in 500 years. Well, specifically, I was wanted to know if it was Estor's dragon. Uh, no, no, no. Estor's okay. dragon was a uh, bronze dragon. This was a silver dragon. Okay. Well, and I've like been quiet this entire time, uh, pondering seeing a dragon for the first time in five hundred years. Well, the good news is silver dragons generally aren't. Are very intelligent and generally aren't as vicious as other types of dragons, but I will go have a chat with it. Yeah. I, I, just, just the roar kind of throws me back to the worst day of my life. <laughs> uh, I will start quietly humming a like a bedtime um lullaby to try to calm her down is would that be a performance check yeah i am very off key <laughs> iris like closes her ears like i kn i know first she always says that she loves your uh, singing song but uh, your your voice, but Xenon, this is really not your expertise. 
Oh no, it's wor it's worse than that. The snakes are trying to sing <laughs> hissing in key, uh, like hissing off key, and that's what's throwing me off. And it's just yeah, like, yeah, blame it on the snakes. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> going to. It's just like after like two verses, I just like put my hands over your mouth and like, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. You could stop. The snakes keep on trying, and I like have to put like the hood on <laughs> to keep them quiet. Uh, I'm walking uh, towards the silver dragon. Uh, you're still uh, here outside the city. Like this dragon yes. landed inside the city. I'm walking towards the silver dragon. All right. So you enter at Come the on. south. You enter at the south gate, as there mm -hmm. are two guards there. You see that uh, as you enter the city, you see that the city is very full. As you uh, go through the living quarters, and uh, the... as you're... is anyone following him towards the Silver Dragon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Iris will also be joining you guys. Uh, I will tell them to stay about 60 feet behind me. Also, I am checking to see if anybody in town is freaked out by this. I would have asked the guards. Is the Silver Dragon known around here? And it's Ryder? Yes, that's the uh, the, that's the Silver Dragon that belongs to the new Dragon Lords with its master, Commander Gaius. Oh, new Dragon Lords. Um, can, can I make Iris and, um, and, uh, uh, Everine do an inside check? When I say new dragon lords, uh, always happy to do a track. <laughs> there you go. Iris is a uh, 18. I thought that was me for a second. Oh, 19. Yes. I am very alert. <laughs> it, it sounds like a curse word, and it also sounds like uh, the way you would say, like, I just buried him. <laughs> hmm. It's just like new dragon lords. Yes, yes, definitely want to talk with you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I just start humming to myself, <laughs> following behind. You see, as you go through the city, as you go through the living quarters, you see. Um... Lots of people that seem to be homeless refugees. Uh, you see that um, that they have uh, that they aren't belong that they they are very afraid and that the streets are very full. <sighs> As you move past it, you move past the agora. And there is the uh, the uh, the agora. There is uh, is still bristling. Uh, lots of people there. As you are approached at the agora, as you pass it, give me a sec to put you on the map for the agora. I have too many maps. Where did I leave the map for the Agora? Let's see if this still works. There we have one. Ah, there we have it. Uh, let's see who you will approach. One, two is seen on three, four is Everine, five, six is Iris. Goes for Everine. As a uh, a hungered, a very hungry looking uh, middle aged man 
approaches you every. A hungry looking what? Middle aged man. He looks extremely hungry. My lady, my lady. I have to deal. Yes, you. I have to deal of a lifetime for you. What you want to trade this necklace of fireballs with one left for one gold piece? Hmm. That seems very little for a magic item. I know, I know. But I'm just so hungry, I need to eat, and this is all I le have left to sell. Am I right Everything there? Is, yeah, you're, sorry, you're, sta I mean, you're standing next to Averine, but he approached Averine for it. Uh, may I look at it? Just really quickly, sir. Depends. Uh, you, you, yes, you may look at it. Hold on. I just want to do a quick arcana check and see if it's actually magical. Sure, go ahead. Now you need to identify to actually know if it's actually a necklace of fireballs, but an arcana but, yeah, would, uh, I, would confirm that it is magic or not magic. Yeah, because even if it's not a necklace of fireballs, it's still a magic necklace. So yeah, it's definitely a magic necklace. Oh. Uh, I, I nodded. Every. It is definitely oh. magic. Uh, in that case, I guess I can't pass up the deal. I uh, will give him one gold piece for the you see necklace. The cabbage hunter behind the cabbage seller next to you says, Don't do it! Uh, why? Klaus, sto uh, Klaus here stole that from an ancient tomb. And now got cursed with the uh, with the curse of the grave robber. If you oh. willingly, if he if he if he pawns it off to you, then you get the curse and he is free. Oh, oh no, yeah no, sorry, I, I can't risk that. No. Please, please, madam, please. I haven't eaten in days. It's driving uh. me crazy. I need to get rid of this curse. What is the curse exactly? Curse of the Grave Robber, well, that speaks for itself. It only targets people that have robbed a grave that is magically protected. And what it does is that it makes you unable to eat. No matter what you eat, you're going to throw it up again right away. And for every, um, your, uh, for all days that you haven't eaten, that your con uh, of your constitution store score, you get one level of exhaustion. Question. You die. So, for example, you have a constitution of fifteen. So, in if you had it, if I do my math right, you would die from starvation in ninety days. Ooh. Question: How how would you get rid of the curse of the grave robber? You can uh, basically trade it uh, with someone else, and then the curse would go to that other person, and you're free. Or a um, a greater restoration spell would remove it. Those are expensive. Um, uh, you, you said trade, or can you give it to somebody else? No, you have to trade it. But it doesn't matter for what you trade it, so one gold piece was, in this case, basically enough. Um, uh, I will, I will buy it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I, you want to be cursed? I look at her. And then you see a snake come out from under the hood and just kind of look at you quizzically and go back in. I I think I'm already cursed, dear. Yeah. yeah, but like the, the death person curse. that warned you, like you do realize, food is not, you will not be able to eat anymore until you're rid of this curse. I, I, I know. My hunger is worse. 
they're, they are worse deaths. Um, plus, I actually have an idea about this necklace. Uh, so, I'm going to keep walking towards the silver dragon. Alright, so you pay the one gold and take the necklace? That's fine. Yeah, right. yes. I'll write it down. I'm quickly going to write it down. Because now I have to keep track of the days for uh, levels of exhaustion that you could get. Mm-hmm. And like you said, like the curse of the grave robber is rather, rather fickle. It's like so. I d didn't think it was fair because we don't know if that guy was actually grave robbing. Could be an archaeologist for all we know. He uses that one gold to buy uh, to buy uh, to buy a drink. And to <laughs> to buy some bread, as he get and as he finally gets to eat again, at the joy of food. You are. <laughs> no, he's gone. Thank you, thank you, sir. Finally, I can eat again. I suppose if worse comes to worse, we could just trade it back and forth. Might buy us some more time to deal with that. But I look at everyone. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. It is a kindness I was not expecting. Oh, necklace was worth it. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, one breed on it, so it is a uh, necklace of fireballs. That has only one breed on it. Ah, it's a one shot. The fireball. What's worse is that it will it will disintegrate once it's gone, but I'll still have the curse. <laughs> You'd just be trading back on four of a bunch of dust. <laughs> <laughs> if we're lucky. Uh, I'd have to read the text. Maybe it just turns into a normal necklace, but then it's still cursed. Yeah. That'd be a, that'd be a best case scenario for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Guy move towards the uh, upwards towards the king in the, the king's palace. You can already hear from a distance where the dragon is. Mm. As it is, uh, uh, the king's hall is basically here, and then there are barracks to the other side, and that's where the dragon is. Are we sure we need to do this now? Like, <laughs> I just want to talk to the dragon really very quickly. And then eventually we will talk to this dragon lord. Uh, is the dragon lord the king here? Uh, nope. You know okay. That, uh, you, you know that the uh, that the king here is uh, King Pyfor, the god king. Okay. Oh yeah, that dude. <laughs> the one who is not too happy with uh, the CRS. What are we doing here again? You had three tasks. Yeah. Quite serious. And your personal task. Yeah. You were going to. You had to claim the weapons of the dragon lords, or the original dragon lords. Yeah. You were to light the fires of the Mitral Force and drink from the horn of Balmitria. The. Yeah. Uh, Kyra, oh. the uh, the bard that was traveling with you guys, told you that the Horn of Belmetria is at the Dragon Shrine in Astoria. Yes. So you were there to drink from that. That was the uh, intention. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Face your fear. Face your fear. <laughs> Again, you do not have to go with me if you do not want. Mm. I, I'm merely going to talk to this dragon. You've already cursed yourself not to be able to eat food. <laughs> yeah, what's one more curse? 
<laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and move yourself on the map as you hear uh, f uh, training uh, tra uh, battle formations and fighting on the uh, in the barracks where the dragon is. Oh. It's not the dragon. It's a different mm. dragon. Different dragons are nice. Sometimes, uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that is the exact attitude you should take. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. uh, I could probably fit half of me inside its mouth. Okay. Again, we are just here to talk with it. Yeah. Don't worry, uh, Everine. I'll be right beside you if you need help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Maybe just as an insurance to give you a little bit of help, I'll cast this on you. Oh. Sanctuary. Oof. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Thanks. I do feel a little better. Alright, Tariq, go ahead and move yourself and uh, tell me what you're doing. I don't see... Oh, okay. So... When I get within earshot... Not necessarily too close and not too far away. Like, regular conversation distance. I would just nod at Gaius and just start speaking to the dragon in Draconic. The dragon looks up and looks uh, aggressively at you as Gaius uh, looks at you. Don't get too close to Aragon. He'll bite your hand off. Ooh. I'm I'm quite sure he will. Uh, uh, question: Would a dragon know a dragon lord if it sees one? Uh, well, currently you're not a dragon lord because <laughs> you. I thought I had. Well, well, true, but I thought I was um. But no, they wouldn't see one. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to click that button. Um. So it wouldn't know that I was a dragon lord. Uh, does being a dragon lord give me any benefits with talking to dragons uh, or no, dealing with them? Let's see what it was again. But a dragon being a dragon lord give you. It's supposed to be on your sheet somewhere. Well, I'm mounted on a dragon, you gave dragon. Okay. So, no, it does not give any uh, speech. Uh... Alright. So, I, I look at the dragon and it in Draconic is like. Hello. You are quite magnificent. When I when I wrote a dragon five hundred and I start saying names from thousands of years ago of older ancient dragons and talking about the exploits of uh, its dragon elders and like magnificent silver and bronze and gold and red dragons. Gaius interrupts you in uh, in draconic and says. You should, you should really start leave, uh, leaving my dragon alone. Yes, and you call yourself a dragon lord, do you? Yes, I am Commander Gaius, leader of the Order of Sidon, of the new generation of dragon lords. Hmm, hmm. have you met anyone from the old generation of dragon lords? They're all dead. Not all of them. I will tap soil on the shoulder and just be like, I think this is the guy that ordered the attack on the temple. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um. So out of character, I'm going to make a wisdom saving throw not to do <laughs> something stupid. <laughs> Once you tell me that. But it's yeah. with advantage because... There's a freaking dragon next to me. Yes. 
and I am not dumb. So Thank God, I, I am not dumb, <laughs> and I am not unwise. Uh, so I, I just go. You are, you are correct. Um. I think I saw some of your troops the other day marching towards, um, what direction did we come from? From the, uh, you came from the east. Uh, marching, uh, towards the east. They looked very impressive. Well, I thank you. The Order of Sidon has the greatest warriors in the land. And oh, as soon really? as we converted everyone from the Treacherous Five, the Weakling Five, then all will be well in Tylea. Okay, um, out of character. Is it one of the five, the deity of this city? Yeah. That is correct. Uh, the... He's openly and mocking him. Uh, is that what brings you to Astoria? <laughs> I am here to make sure that everything will be well in Astoria. As proper sacrifice, as I inform the people here of the proper sacrifices they need to make to Sidon. Have you, have, have you already been to the Northern Wall yet? No. Well, no. if you go to the northern wall, you can see a large, large horde of centaurs that are readying their army to attack the city. Oh. And as well as Sidon demands daily sacrifices, and the city has not been able to uphold it properly yet. So we have, uh, so he has caused a drought. And before the full moon ends. And they have to, as compensation for their lackluster sacrifices, they have to sacrifice Princess Enora to Sidon. I've come here to properly inform the king of that, so that he knows what must be done. Well, that is a magnificent plan, and I bow before your superior might, charm, charisma, and tactics, and... For just a little more information, I would love to gift upon you this marvelous necklace that will help you in your siege. You do know that he has to trade it, right? So he has to give you something in return, or else just. I say knowledge <laughs> for for a gift of uh, for a trade of knowledge. Does knowledge count? Let's see. Go ahead and make. Uh, you, in this case, you can make me a deception check. To see if you can fool him with the necklace. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, wait if it counts. Oh, and see if it counts? Okay. Yeah, uh, roll, roll uh, high, uh, if you roll a high deception check, you got him fooled that it is actually a trade. Alright, um, I am going to, uh, uh, hopefully Iris is casting guidance on me. Uh, she's, and the, I, she's, uh, she's standing far too, way too far away from you. Okay, then, um. I'm going to use my inspiration for this. Alright, go ahead. And, and pray. Uh, deception. Not great at deception. Oh man, yeah, I'm good, great at deception. I, all, yeah. I, I As you see him gloat, I always favor mm -hmm. to... To, uh, to, gui to guide and help the foolish become more wise. Know that Sidon is merciful if you continue on if you continue on with proper sacrifices as he takes the necklace. So the information I would like is um where did you get such a magnificent beast from? A gift from the Titans. Oh Long ago the Titans and the Dragon Lords were at war. But in this new generation of Dragon Lords we will work together, as uh, and with that, 
the dry and with that the five will be abandoned and that would mean peace all over Tylea. Oh you know that requires a drink Someone bring us a glass of wine. This magnificent man needs a drink. Mm. Alright. As um as the uh as the uh, the, 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 the sparring uh, soldiers look around. Uh, well, don't the, worry, the Lord, he... on, I will do it. She, bring, uh, she brings out uh, a bottle that she had on her. Uh, I, will, I will pour him a glass. No, I will give him the bottle. And take the glass out and give one to each of us. So. Okay. Your magnificence knows no bounds, sir. I drink to you. Wise man. He's I am not a, as well. I am not a man, but thank you very much. Well, we will take our leave, and <laughs> it is. <laughs> as he as he swallowed it, he starts vomiting it out. Ew. I, I take another what drink. Is it? No, it's, it's fine. I'm like, give some to a soldier. <laughs> like, we're all fine. That's why we're drinking. Maybe you have a stomach bug. I hear there's one going around these days. He's... Yes, you, you know these... Allergies. Well, you know these commoners. They are dirty and carry diseases. If you're around too many... That's right. That's why I uh, that's why I normally rode on the dragon. Far better to go rode the skies than go on the pitiful thing, uh, the pitiful road. Maybe you ate a bug whilst flying. No bug well, dares come uh, comes near my arrogant. Yes, know. well, we would take our leave and thank yeah. you so much for the information and your company. Mm -hmm. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. We leave. I make sure no one uh, can hear us. And I'm like, fuck him. And he's dragon. And his mama. And five generations. And his cow. So, yeah. We're probably going to have to save the princess at some point, aren't we? We're going to go. I believe we should go to the... Uh, first, we should find Kyra, since she seems to have connections. And then we should definitely go to the castle. I mean, if they don't already know there's an issue, we should tell them before he gets there. But I think we have, we have bought ourselves some time before he gets there. Yeah. Uh, should we... Go to the temple looking for the ominous dragon horn thing. Then, yes, it, it might actually help us. Yeah, but it also might announce our presence. <laughs> but yeah. hey, why not? I don't know. And I, I, I think both... I think cursing their general has probably <laughs> announced our presence. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> You're probably going to feel like. He probably he probably knows what a curse of the grave robber is, so he's probably gonna figure it out by dinner time. <laughs> yeah, but but right now it's morning time. Yeah. So no, 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 it's it's not morning time. It's late afternoon because she traveled all the way from the temple of the oracle to here. Oh, so well, we bought ourselves a little bit of time. Yeah. Also, he doesn't know what I look like <laughs> mm -hmm. because I've got a hood and stuff on, and oh great, it's just uh, me that's uh, <laughs> Everett and Iris. Oh crap! Yeah. So, so that was a bad idea. I thought it was a really good idea and funny. It was an idea. It was definitely funny. <laughs> At least you're not cursed anymore. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. The other group did something very dumb with the dragon. They tried to pet it, so it uh, so it uh, so it started attacking them. <laughs> Yeah. They're not even our level yet, are they? They were they, they, they were level three when that happened. Oh, okay. So they were um, a level lower than you. 
<laughs> did they live? <laughs> yes. Did the dragon live? Yes. Okay. Commander Kaya stopped it uh, while do taking two rounds to like insult them and hold speeches about how dumb they were. Yeah, yeah. Once, once you said that he was, um, monkey mentioned. I forgot about the order of Scion, but once yeah. monkey mentioned it, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm messing with a mid boss right now <laughs> at level four. I, mm -mm. yeah. All right. So where do you want to go now? Um, uh, we're gonna go find Kaya and then go to the temple, then oh. go to the castle. We got a lot to do in a few hours. So where would you like to look for her? Did she no. tell us where we were supposed to meet her? Uh, no, she just said at the city. Uh -huh. Alright, where would you find a bard who is loud, prone to exaggerate, and uh, likes to watch people? They have an amphitheater. Yep. <laughs> let's let's check there first. Alright. For the amphitheater. Yes. You seem to have cheered up a little bit when you said amphitheater. Alright. They're fun. Yeah. I'm mostly just happy to be moving away from the dragon. No, that, drag that dragon makes me sad for, yeah. for different reasons. I mean, I know it's kind of not great of me to be hating on dragons and be fearful of them and everything. It's just I stop. I stop and look at you. If a Medusa had attacked your village and killed everyone there or stoned them. I don't think that anyone would begrudge you for being afraid or somewhat disliking Medusas. Dragons are just so big and loud and everything burns. Oh, not with the silver one. They, they shoot the electricity. Oh. Okay. Oh, they were ice. No, silver electricity. Oh. Okay. That's bronze. Uh, bronze is electricity. Wait, bronze is electricity? Yeah, I bronze, look at, look at... bronze is electricity, silver is ice and cold. Mm -hmm. I swore silver was electric. Okay. You can open My Monster bad. Manual if you don't believe me. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to believe you. I'm just... The oh, dragon lord was wrong. It's like, it's been a long time since I've been around dragons. So as you arrive at the amphitheater, it's crowded and Kyra is standing there and there. And as a, uh, and while the boar was there, the heroes climbed into a tree. The, the boar shell ran into the tree, broke off the, uh, broke off the tree. The heroes did a backflip. Xenon catched Iris mid-air and landed ca landed very closely next to the boar, stabbed it in the he his head, and did uh, and did uh, and, and then Everin did flew her chakras as the as the uh, as the uh, as the boar was distracted, and the chakras mixed right into the neck of the of the of the great boar. You lie. I did not land. As she, as she, as she, I did as she's not. Shouting no. and, and you say, as, as you say that. You, uh, she ends the story and bows, and you see the the, the crowd clapping. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Like she lies. I did not. Uh, I did not land next to the boy. I landed on the boy, and then stabbed it on the head while carrying Iris. Ah! <laughs> As they start shouting, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. and that I is today's how I remember. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Hey. Hello. So we have some news for you. And then I tell her very quickly about the... Our, um... Whoops. 
I tell her very quickly about our little um incident. Ah, uh, yeah, oh. I've seen it. Seen it? I've seen it, yeah, with your dragon and uh, and it tricked. I have it right here on my notes. Oh, you you saw me trick him? Yeah, I was right. I was around the corner sneaking up. Oh, then how did you get to the empathy? We came straight here. I'm really fast. Mm-hmm. But you told an entire st- Okay. Uh, My head hurts. Just thinking about it. My suspicions of you only grow stronger. <laughs> I nod my head. <laughs> you don't trust like me? In what I'm t- oh, no. No, I trust you. I just like the nature of who and what you are. Oh, good, good. I, I hate it if my friends don't trust me. Uh, I trust you. I trust Thank you. Thank you. So, Iris, do you have any... I mean, um, Kyra, do you have any idea how we're supposed to stop a army, save a princess, and keep a... I do air quotes, dragon lord, who I just cursed. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you saw that too. Um, I just cursed from, you know, murdering us. Um, well, I'd have to think about that, but save a princess well we would have to talk to her father king pythor the god king but he's not actually a deity he's not no it's his wife no he's a deity wait i thought maybe i'm thinking of another city the other the the, the god queen is in is in mitros that's Phallus, the goddess of wisdom, whereas Pythor is the god of battle oh. and king of Astoria. Oh, oh the one we sacrificed the, um, the yeah. board. Yes. We'll have to that ask one. him how he liked it. <laughs> well, he did give you guys a boost in your powers, right? Hmm. Yes. Well, so, that so should maybe... be a positive thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, also... Possibly, it will uh, give us a little bit of a... He will have a good impression of us when we go to talk to him. Yeah. But, um... Yes, I think the next thing we should do is go to the temple. And then... Or to the castle. I got the leader. They're pretty close to each other, so... If you want to to go, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on which one you want to do first. It's right next to each other. Hmm. I wouldn't mind finding out what's up with this bottomless dragon horn All before right. we make decisions on what we're doing. <laughs> you know, find the facts. <laughs> yes. So yeah, you guys um, back from the amphitheater back to here, <laughs> and then like you cross this pass and you go to the shrine and uh, the dragon shrine. Slash the Temple of the Five in this city. Oh, glad this isn't a bigger city. <laughs> no, it's not a really big city. <laughs> and you, you still have to account for this is the um, the uh, the third biggest city in this uh, in this in this world. Like the only two that are bigger are Eresia and uh, Mitros. Yeah. Alright, as you go into the Shrine of the Dragon, as you come in, you see that the Shrine of the Dragon is uh, been vandalized from inside. As you see uh, one half-elf priest in there, who is uh, trying to clean things up. I am mostly just like... Staring at the giant statue of the dragon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just, eh. I, I give it a you. loving, I give <laughs> the statue like a, a loving look and a slight bow, and then head towards the priest. Uh, exactly what happened here? Oh. Uh, vandals came in, and they. How long? 
go ahead. Uh, no, I just said how long ago. <laughs> Maybe half an hour at most. They came here. They started breaking all sorts of stuff here. And then they uh, then they took the dragon horn of Balmitra and they ran. Which way did they run? Um, through that window. Uh, near the... Uh, I would say the east gate. That direction. Do you know what they looked like? They were goat links. Very small creatures, half man, half goat, but only the uh, torso part is man. The lower part is goat, and the head is also partly goat, partly man. Ooh, they, like, they sound like the worst parts of a satire. They definitely are. Everine, uh, uh, how good are you at tracking? Uh, decently good. I... Go after these quickly. Yes, I have. I am ordering my stem fay to head eastward towards the east gate direction, just to try and find and catch eyes on these uh, goatlings. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake, by the way. It's from the it's the south gate. My bad. Sorry. South gate. Yes. Right. Stem fay is chasing after them. <laughs> Go ahead. Trying make to get a survival eyes. check. Survival. My character sheet did not want to open. <laughs> uh, survival. Thirteen. Not even sure that, that might be a success. It might not be. I don't even know. Um, it sees a trail just outside of town, but then it loses its uh, it uh, it loses the trail. Yeah. Well, let's go to that trail, and maybe you can personally look at it and. Mm. Yeah. To the trail! Alright, so you leave town again to go hey. downwards, to, uh, back through the south gate. And then you, um... And there you, um... There you find the trail again that the stem fay founds, found, and you can make me another survival check. Iris, could you please guide our friend? Let's see if she... Of course! Okay. Oh god. Oh, Why? God. Why? <laughs> the pen. <laughs> the, trail, uh, the, the trail leads to a dead end for now. Do I have anything that would help in this? You can try a survival check. Okay. Uh, do I get guidance? No, she already gave it to uh, Everine. Okay. As she, um, as she, uh, as you, as you try looking for it as well, and are like, <laughs> there's too many goatling hooves on the ground. Where the hell did they went? No. I feel like somebody was hurting some actual goats through here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. What do we know about goatlings? Uh, that'd be... History! Alright. Quickly gonna get the page for goatlings, so... So, I, I know who the grandma was. I know the social security numbers. I can't, no show you, uh, I can't show you how they look, at least. Okay. Oh, oh God. Do you take away that picture. Okay. Horrifying little thing. <laughs> All right. So I, I'm going to say the, the modern day description would be that uh, goatlings are chaotic evil phase that would basically be the equivalent of 4chan trolls. They so li they like being giant assholes and they like trickeries and they like insulting people and uh pulling goats on people uh p pulling uh, uh jokes on people uh, they're always extremely um 
uh, disgusting. And they uh, worship the Titan of Dr uh, Dreams, Lefina. The, okay. They were the one that gave you nightmares yesterday. I, I tell them all that. With a 27 to history, would I know of any goatling encampments or areas that they tend to congregate in this area? You know that there are maybe some temples uh, not that end this far away where they could be. That aren't that far away? Yeah, you'd know about 10 miles away would be a couple of temples. And we can do a mile a minute if we run, right? Mm -hmm. it's like, uh, I will mention that. It's like, I think we might want to hit towards those temples. Mm -hmm. This horn is very important, and I would like to give it back before dinner. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. We gotta get that horn. We gotta. I, there's Everine, so many things. <laughs> Everine, I, I want to thank you, though, for facing your fears and so well. I know it has not been easy for you. It was very. I do not want to compare, but believe me, it was not easy for me not to choke that man to death that I've had to. Yeah. When you mentioned it, that he was the one who had the temple attacked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hopefully he ruins his meeting by throwing up on everyone, so. <laughs> I think he, he will be indisposed for the next few days. Because <laughs> I do believe that that curse has to be done willingly and trying to force someone into trading that necklace. Won't really work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Should probably get move on to these temples then. Yes. Hopefully we can be back in time to stop the nonsense with Princess and... Uh, they uh, have a, the, the timer for that is basically... Um... Until the next full moon, which is about okay. uh, two weeks away. Okay, okay, yeah. Horn's priority then. <laughs> to the temples! <laughs> Alright. Your travel to the temples goes without any problem as you come here to the outskirts of the temple. Treat. Everine, how good are you at deception? Oh, uh, it, it. Eh? <laughs> I said, how good are you at deception? I... So, so. <laughs> no. I was going to pretend like we were merely pilgrims coming to this temple. But I am only... I am not that great at deception. And, and I, I just believe that at this point, Iris just starts laughing under her hand after what I did with the uh, <laughs> the fake dragon lord. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> still can't believe you curse that guy. <laughs> uh, well, I was actually you know, hoping... I, I've always been taught that I should always be honest by the oracle. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm not really good at lying in any way, says Iris. Exactly lie to him. I just didn't throttle him to death. Yeah. It's, it's how I see it. Um, I mean... Could you have your Stim uh, Stimfe um, scout for us? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That are for. Ooh. It will send you them on ahead. A, here you uh, look at a old like stone ancient ruin. Huh. 
interesting stones. Hope this isn't a cursed temple. Uh, I speak I speak all languages. What language does the uh, do the goat man uh, speak? They speak uh, they speak common or or like common Tylean or they speak uh, the Sylvan. Ah. But this is not the temple. This is a Stonehengean ruin. Oh, you have well, to let's explore the map to, his... to find the temple. Ah. I will look at our ranger. Our Amazonian ranger. Uh, hmm. Is there any markings on these ruins? Uh, you can make me a... Uh, Everyone, you can make me a religion check, and in your case, you can make it with advantage. Oh. Advantage. Religion. Advantage. 20. Right. These uh, stones are... Uh, you've seen these stones also at the island of the Amazons. These are holy places for druids and rangers. And if you take a long rest here, your long rest only takes 10 minutes. What out. Uh... It's a good place to sleep. These stones would protect you. And and hasten your recovery. So does that mean I can throw more fireballs at the goats? You're not a ranger or a druid. No, no, I'm saying if he told me this, oh, only rangers and druids get this. Oh, uh, I thought... Well, I grew up with Amazon, so they're probably all rangers. <laughs> so I wouldn't know that it's just a ranger and druid thing. I just assume it's an everyone thing. Yeah, yeah, they're all rangers and druids, so it's just like... <laughs> well, no, there would be fighters. There would be fighters. True. True. Do, do, do. Oh, right, yeah, I'm sending my Stimfei out first. I like how it says Kyra, deity of music, and but... In in game, we have established that she is not. <laughs> At least we don't. We do not think she is. I'm sorry, I'm more a failure on the token part. Where the uh, yeah. where are the makers? Uh... I mean, I Spoiler, I still. She is, but she will keep denying it. Yeah, I pretty much figure she is. <laughs> if, you <laughs> actually actually paid if you actually paid attention in the temple, you could have seen her statue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And basically, right. if you call that out to her, she go, she starts crying because she thinks it's a beautiful compliment. Yes. Oh, you mean Thank like you. happened like happened in the other temple? <laughs> oh wow, you look like you. What a great yeah. compliment. <laughs> I think this is the temple. A bad day not to be able to fly. You can pick those days? <laughs> uh, not really. Then don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, looks to be some, like, a bit of broken wall up ahead. It might be our way in. Uh, at this point, I would like to stealth. Go ahead. Mm. Good thinking. I guess we'll try the same. That's not good. Oh my god. I am <laughs> just how, like, how was uh, that? what's <laughs> the point? <laughs> I, I just look back, like, you don't even see me when you look back. Not really looking back. <laughs> Mostly looking at the floor. I'm just imagining Eeyore right now. Okay, Pooh. Alright, just... there on the ground, you, um, uh, you spot a small 
um, little, uh, you spot a shield. And Xenon, you recognize this bronze broken shield on the ground immediately. It has the marking of um, a dragon lord, uh, of a dragon lord. Uh, riding and defeating a sixth armed cyclops, which you know as the name as a Gigan. And you recognize the Dragon Lord immediately. That's on the marking. It's Estor Arklander. We're going to get that shield on the way out. It's Before rusty we... and broken. Probably oh, yeah, I'm still... falling on the ground here for years. Uh, yeah. I've always found shields get in the way of my wings. She no, says no. as her wings are dragging along the ground. Uh, She's knocking stones around. <coughs> Xenon is whispering in your mind that uh, it's, mo it's, it's more for uh, sentimental reasons. Oh. Uh. Okay. Not nice sentiments, but sentimental all, all the same. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, with my 21 stealth, I'm just going to take a real quick peek into here. Alright. <coughs> here you come into uh, <coughs> the chamber of Lufia. You see a old statue with a empty scale on it. And you see a uh, the scale is a bit of a mirror, and uh, and there is a hole in the ground. Do we see signs of recent goatling activity near that hole? Uh, have to make a perception check. As you approach the hole, you can hear uh, laughter coming from from below it, and uh, and music. Uh, I will telepathically uh, tell uh, my party about this. Oh. Okay. Yes. If this, if this wasn't very important, I would say to do this on another day, but I think this needs to be done right now before these good links can get too far away. Yeah. So, don't want to give them too much opportunity to piss in it. I, that had not occurred to me, but that had not occurred to me. Thank you very much. And I'm not, we're supposed to be drinking from it. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, yeah, yeah uh, I'm going to speed up now. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you for your gonna... inspiration. <laughs> no! <laughs> there, you know, I'm like, definitely worried. Uh, we'll look. Still stealthing, we'll look through the hole. As you look down to the hole, you can uh, you can only see like a very small fragment. With um, occasionally, what you see is that a teenager walks past the hole, or uh, I don't know, and sometimes a goatling walks past the hole. A, a like a human teenager? A human teenager. Uh, is he carrying any outward signs of worshiping the Titans? Uh, from your position, that is too hard to judge. Because you're looking through a narrow hole down towards them, which like only one fragment that you can see. Do you think there's another way down, or is this it? You would hey. look, as you do look downwards, this is a very small shaft. 
Your Stimfei can go through it without any problems. <clears throat> but if you try to go through it, you could cut yourselves on the rocks and that could hurt. So we need to find another entrance. Oh, you could still do it, but... It, yeah. You can bleed if, you, if something goes wrong. Yeah. I kind of want to drop on top of that boy. <laughs> and uh, gag him. Or bind him and try to find out what's going on here. So yeah, that, that is exactly what I will do. I will tell the others of my plan uh, this oh. time before I do something stupid. Kyra already starts writing it down. Okay. I have uh, a plan written down. Go for it. You can do it. Is she that loud when she says it? Probably. Yeah. Uh, How has no one noticed us yet? And, and, uh, I'm, really good. I'm really good at stealth. <laughs> and I'm pretty fast. I have yeah. a special technique that only people can hear me that I want them to hear me. Oh. I, I, look at, I look at Everine and Iris. It's just like, yeah, she's a deity. <laughs> Iris just nods in like yep. mm. uh, So I'm, I'm going to wait for the boy to come And then I am literally going to drop him on top of him And try to cover his mouth up Alright uh, Go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw The, the falling uh, succeeds uh, Falling on top of him <laughs> succeeds uh, No problem but you're going through a very narrow shaft with uh, sharp rocks, so you could cut yourself along the way if you just literally uh, jump down. So, uh, is this saving a, throw. Is this a dexterity saving throw or acrobatics? Dexterity saving throw. Okay. <gasps> okay. Yeah, you get uh, you get damage. Yeah. Yeah. Take four slashing damage from all the cuts that you get going downwards. It could it could have been worse. Oh, Everin? Sorry. <laughs> I was running around looking for another way down. <laughs> you can, but Yeah. My wings are too big. As I you step in there, dirt. Everine, and Xenon yeah. uh, jumps down. Gonna have to split scenes as yeah. <laughs> stepped in here. You feel something moving in that water. Oh. There's something in the water. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> mm. And uh, I'll go to you later, Tariq. We'll oh, first roll no. for initiative. Oh no. Oh no, I stepped in ooze. <laughs> you split the party. How was it get? I got bare wings. I'm not jumping down a hole full of a tiny hole of sharp spikes. <laughs> that is the fastest gray ooze that ever oozed. Yeah. <laughs> not like being stepped in. <laughs> Luckily, you are faster. Yeah. Yes, you are faster, Everine. Yeah. Oh, it's my go. <laughs> Stay waiting for. Uh, uh, okay. Well, first up, I will attack the one in front of me with my chakram. For 24. For 10 slashing damage. Oh dear. Uh, but then, what, then, what happens is you slash it with the sh your chakram, you see that acid is corroding your chakram as they get a minus one on uh, on attacks and damage. Oh. So you see that your uh, chakram is now damaged. No. Okay. Uh, well, with that, it... Um... I doesn't get opportunity when I move, uh, but 
Mm, my shotgun. It's my main weapon. Uh. Okay. Um. I'll see in that. I guess I will use my second attack with one of my short swords instead. That'll hit as well. Uh, for 10 piercing. <laughs> also dominating the ooze as the as you see that the tip of the short sword is also being burned off. Damn it. I quickly sort of slash it in the water to clean it as I dive and roll to the side uh, and whistle for my stem fey companion. Was a move of 80 feet. So I'm pretty certain I can get there. And fire a pinion storm at the same ooze. And a 10 will hit for 6 damage, destroying that ooze. Yay! Screw you, ooze. <laughs> How loud is that, uh, that attack? Probably not that loud. Because wow. it can specifically uh, well, the thing is the uh, the pinion storm can specifically target one person, so it can basically think of it like Bla uh, Black Black Bolt's voice, only uh, not as destructive. That if mm. you're standing in it, it'll hurt, and you'll hear it and pop your earbuds. Wow. But yeah. anyone else the, doesn't actually hear that much. The pinion storms when it like fires out some of its feathers. Oh, target, okay. So. There's some like scraping of metal, probably, as feathers shoot past feathers. <laughs> but it's probably not that loud. Okay. Louder no, than just... a bow. <gasps> yeah, I, I thought that this was um, the this, this sonic attack. Sorry. Yeah. I fought it too, so don't worry. Yeah. Anything else you would yeah. like to do in your turn? Uh, action, bonus action. No, that's everything I can do. All right, then it is Iris' turn. Who saw this Tim Fey walk away? Goes to here. Gets to here. Can she see that other one? Yes. And it is with that, a sacred fray blade. That said, I probably would have let out a loud whistle to summon my Tim Fey to the fight. <laughs> so, yeah. What? Well, hopefully the party is louder. Yeah. Uh, he made it. That's a dexterous ooze. All right, and that is Iris' her turn. And it is the ooze her turn. His turn, and he will move to here. Trying to attack you, Everin. <laughs> Twelve is a miss, I assume. Yep. And then it is your turn again. Okay. Uh, switching out. To just my two short swords, I will stabity stab. Once. That'll hit. For five. Oh, now one of the. This is. And then the, one, the, the other one gets a minus one on it. Uh, this one is now as well. Yeah. So if you hit, then the other one is now a minus two. So it becomes okay. 17. Yeah. And that then means that. Uh, and that becomes four damage. Yeah. Yeah. That now means that one of your short shorts has a minus one on it, and the other one has a minus two on it to hit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then I will run over here, and again, just sort of uh, slash the swords in the water to clean the ooze off them as I uh, bring my Stimfe around and have him shoot some more feathers at this damn ooze. <laughs> is heavily injured but now let's see for you again ever in but it has to dash to approach you yay so then it is your turn ever in okay well 
I don't really want to damage my swords anymore, and it's not looking so great. So I think I'm going to have my stim face shoot at it first. All right. 12 sure. will destroy it. Yay. And then we'll switch over to Xenon. Yay. <laughs> All right, so I imagine that this... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. give me a sec to put you on the right map. So while the you're doing is, that, uh, the map is loading a bit less slow. So, so I'll describe the scene as I see it in my head. Uh, I drop on the this uh, young man while bleeding profusely, right? So, if he's wearing like a white toga, which I imagine he is, it's now covered in blood, and um, I have my uh hand over his mouth. And I lean in very closely and say, one peep. And uh, then the snakes come out and like, like w one is like crouched right above his throat, ready to bite into it. But as you look upwards, as you dropped on him, you see two dancing goatlings looking very confused at you. Uh, were they dancing? Like, yeah. maybe they didn't see me. So they're like, uh, you see the scene right here, right? On the map. Uh huh. Uh, wait, they uh. Jump dancing. So, uh, Medusas are generally, um, considered, uh, uh, what do you call it? Scary. They, they well, not, not just scary, but they, they usually work for the Titans, right? I uh, know, the, the, Medusas are people that are oath breakers that have got cursed. They don't necessarily work for the titans. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull down my hood and look at the two goat people and say in Sylvan, if you, I was like, this is my dinner. If you two don't want to be dinner, go away. Oi, oi, oi! That'd be the Lady Demetria's dinner. And we're fattening it up and making it cool. You have to win it from us with a dance-off. Okay. I'm confused now. Uh, do I know who the Lady Demetria is? Uh, no. Uh... So I will telepathically talk to the commoner while I'm getting ready for the standoff. Uh, do you want to be dinner? I want to be cool. I want to yeah, join the be, cool kids. Yeah, yeah you don't want to die to be the cool kid. Oh, but I don't um, want anything to be a cool kid. I want everyone to look up to me. I, I just look at this person, and it's just like, do you see this? <laughs> this is what happens when uh, you want uh, too much to be the cool person and everyone to look up to you. Medusa? Oh no! Yes, d don't you know how most Medusas are created? Like they make the deals to be the... Well, yes, but also they make deals to be the prettiest, or the smartest, or the coolest. But I can certainly make, make a better deal and then be cooler. It's no. worth trying. I want to be cool. I want everyone to look up to me. I want them to stop bullying me. All right, so I'm going to, again, that was trying, I was trying to persuade that person that being cool isn't what he thinks it is? Or okay, she? Go ahead. go ahead. But why are people bullying me, Dan? Because people are stupid. But uh, hold on, I have to have... A, we'll talk about this in a moment. I have to have a dance-off. Dance-off, was... bro! <laughs> Yo. 
And then I hear like like a whistle from upstairs. It's like Yeah, hmm. you do hear a whistle, but <laughs> Oh well you don't hear anything else. Yeah, it's like, oh well, that's off. Uh See, I'm trying to figure out a way that I can use persuasion as my dance off. It's like uh, it would be performance a, or acrobatics in most cases. Uh, acrobatics is actually better for me, so. Ten. Ten. All right, and then the goatlings gonna start dancing. One of them start tap dancing, and the other one uh, starts belly dancing. The belly dancer isn't that great, but the tap dancer is actually pretty good. It's like, nice! Uh, but that's only round one. Alright, you want more dance off? I just served you. One on one, bro. <laughs> hey, so the you, tap dancer comes on. We can't do the same dance anymore, so this time, I'm gonna do the robot. Or know it? I'm gonna do the Warforged. <laughs> Well, I'm going to do the snake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to do the snake. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, so beat all these... I beat you with the robot, with, with the Warforged boy! You got served! You're a terrible dancer. If you can't dance and he can't dance and I'm the best dancer here. <laughs> so actually, I will start laughing because... When I was doing the snake, it was actually my snakes doing trying to do the wave, and they all got tangled up. It's oh, yes. So now I have a fun. Every failure you do, you blame the snakes. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. It's always the snakes. Um, it's always Bob. Yeah. <laughs> it's, always it's, Bob. it's always Bob. Um, <laughs> Bob and Bucky. Um, let's see. Uh, well, well, you won this dance off. So, I guess so I come need with to me, you. kid, and become cool like me, so you can dance as well. Hmm. Hey, do you, you know what else is cool? Staying here to dance for a little bit longer. I'm trying to persuade them. Go ahead. We'll be dancing all night. It's like, uh, so who is this lady, Demetria? The boss here. Ah. Is, who or what is she? She's, uh, she's the boss. Is she a goatling? Nah, she's way too sexy to be a goatling. Or way too ugly. Is she, is, is she a human? Nah, might look like one. Oh god, I, I'm starting to think. Okay, can I make an, either an arcana or a history check to figure out something that looks human, that eats humans, but makes them cool when they do it? Oh, stupid animals. <laughs> that'd be a, uh, that'd be a, yeah, that would be, uh, that would be in this case arcana. Cause I, I'm starting to get a picture here in my mind of a certain type of creature. This, this world's version of Triads. Don't I date one? No, that's a nymph. <laughs> well, I mean, but, but the same family. Like the same sam family tree. Triads and nymphs are... Mm -hmm. one's, one's water, one's uh, trees, and they're both sexy. Uh, my girlfriend is going to kill me. Okay. Um, you. Uh, I I, I mentally talk to the the teenager again. Mm -hmm. Uh, ha have I convinced you that uh, being cool is not necessarily the way to go? And yes, again, people are stupid and they will make fun of you. You just have to be better and cooler than they are, and by ignoring them, uh. You will, and by ignoring them, you will, you will be both. Yes, Look at me. But, yes. I don't care what people think about me. Yes, but if I could dance like that guy, then everyone would look up to me. 
Then, then uh, teach it, have have him teach you how to dance. Yes, let me teach you how to dance. All right, my students, we dance, dance, dance. Okay, I need to make a wisdom check. Uh, that was my favorite sword. <laughs> uh, you can have them repaired. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's... Go uh, to forge and again, it can be repaired. I just feel like there's like muffled sounds of the fight. <laughs> uh, so Janet, could you want to roll a one d four and a one through two? I'm starting to like goatlings, and a two through four, I'm still neutral. I mean, three through four, I'm still I neutral. I am still neutral, thank goodness. Because <laughs> these two goatlings are actually pretty cool. Except for you know feeding this guy to a to a um to a uh, a dry it. Uh, can I see this? Yeah, if you can see it on the map, you can see it. Okay. Uh, telepathically. It's like, uh, I will message Iris and, um, and, uh... Just wondering, do you need to see them to be able to do it? No, I do not believe so. Can you, uh, give me the text, just to be sure? Yes, yes I will. Telepathic. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I actually have to look it up. 5e... Telepathic. Not telepathic bond. Telepathic feet. You can speak to telepathically to any creature you can see within 60 feet of you. Oh, I have to see them. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, uh, no messages going upwards. Uh, crap. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I have the actual spell message. No, I don't. So, yep. Um, hmm. I'm gonna sit here and watch uh, this goatling teach this person how to dance, uh, and wait for my two friends, who know that I'm down here. Assuming these are doors here in the back. Mm -hmm. I will try to open them. So one thing that the adventure does not say here in this room is that right next to the stairs going downwards, there are two statues. Oh. It says it in the text, but it doesn't actually show it on the map. Ah. What are what these? Are the... uh, they look like uh, winged stone monsters. Very ugly. As in harpy-like ugly? No. Okay. I hope that's not a depiction of sirens. <laughs> As I make my way down. As you... The stone just... statues turn around and grab you by your shoulders. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> As we will roll initiative. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they are gargoyles. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> Everine, so you're one of those. You, you, you know the player who basically sets off every trap. It's only because I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Don't... 
be fair, Everine being happy probably would also set off that creature. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first gargoyle will put its claw in your uh, has its claw in your shoulder and will try and cut your shoulder. Seventeen. Bang on my armor class. Oh, doing four damage. Oh. Ha. <laughs> That is its turn. Then it is Iris' her turn. Who will cast a sacred flame on that guard? The gargoyle makes it. Everine, your turn. Okay. My undamaged shot, Grum. 14 misses as it bounces off of its skin. My damaged shot, Grum. That definitely doesn't hit with an eight. Yeah. Uh, my stim phase talons. All right. Yeah, that all hit. Yeah. Scram up. <laughs> there you go. I did the damage on the left one. Yes. So we didn't know which one you were actually attacking. Yeah. All right. Probably the one that scratched me. The as the, uh, that was that one. So the, yeah. as the uh, as the stim fae starts scratching at it and pieces of stone let loose, then the other yeah. gargoyle, who also has its claw on your shoulder, Everine, will try the same thing. They will be a miss. And that same gargoyle again will try to claw you as well, Everine. Uh. 17 will be a hit again for 6 damage. And then it is Iris her turn. Who will do another sacred flame because she doesn't she only has two spell slots left. And the gargoyle makes it again. Damn it. Should I just come down? The, should I just jump down the stupid hole? <laughs> <laughs> That's technically the safer option as we've seen so far. Yeah. <laughs> Undamaged shot room. Hey. Hey. And damage shot grum. No miss. Yeah. And Stimfe Talons. That'll hit again. Yeah. Heavily damaging that uh, gargoyle. Yeah. But then it is gargoyle's turn again, and another claw comes for you, every ah. Crit. Ow. For eleven damage. As it, like it went, it was in your shoulder the entire time, and then it went for your neck. Ah. And somewhere down in, in, in the hole, uh, Xenon is popping and locking. Yeah. <laughs> then the other gargoyle will go. This one will go. This time, this one will go for the stim fame because that did so much more damage on him. Yeah. Yeah. Six misses the stim fame. Yeah. Then Iron. Can she finally have a successful sacred flame? Yes! Destroying one gargoyle! Yay! As the as the statue uh, falls down. I think kill. That is her turn then. Everine, your turn. Okay. So I will kick off the wall and Punch this gargoyle in the face with my undamaged shotgun and, and miss. No miss. I had a hit, it just has no effect on stone. Yeah. And then with the damaged one. Damn it. That one doesn't hit it either. Okay, and then I will move out of the way over here as let my stim fish <laughs> scrap him up. And that doesn't attack either. Yeah. It's that uh, gargoyle's turn, and it will attempt to scratch at the Stimfei now. Hitting the Stimfei for six damage. That hits. Uh. And then for Iris. Making the Sacred Flame a save with a natural 20. Everine, your turn again. Damn it. Okay. I will charge in. 
Slash. God damn it. Not your Slash. Name. That one hits. 23. For six. It's your or damaged five. one, so that becomes yeah. five. Freaking oozes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then Stimfe Talons. That misses. I'm a Stimfe move behind me. <laughs> Does it have a flyby, by, by the way? I don't know. Uh, yeah, um, enemies that attacks don't get attacks of opportunity. Right. Just uh, in general, <laughs> against anybody. <laughs> Gargoyle's turn, and it will uh, Clyde you again, Evrian. Try to go for the neck again. Nope. Uh, dodge it. Does it show up? Because it doesn't show up on my screen anymore. Oh. No, that was my... <laughs> oh. Sorry, that was Mr. Yeah, no, no, oh. No, no, no. Damn. Fuck you. <laughs> but it, is the low, it is the one with the lower damage, at least. As it goes uh... for your neck again, as you try to dodge it, Goes on the other side of your neck, doing nine damage. Uh, ow. Iris, her turn. You need healing. Uh, in a minute. Alright. And, uh, Sacred Flame. Filled it. Hey. But only taking one damage. Everine, your turn again. Okay. Nope. And the damaged one. For eight slashing. And Stimfe, gonna fire over my head. And miss. That'll miss, yeah. And it is the gargoyle's turn again. Well, it took one part of your neck, now the other part of your neck, now it's going to try and go for the middle. Uh, but that it does ah. not succeed on. Iris will do a sacred flip. He made, a sac uh, made the save. This Gargo is pretty beef tanky. They're not even supposed yeah. to be that strong. No, <laughs> just... This, this Gargo's name is Maustia. <laughs> right. Do I have anything? No. Or... Okay. Damn it. Undamaged, even. Yeah, that one will hit. Yay! For 10 slashing. Then the damaged one. Damage one then becomes a 14. That will not hit. Damn it. Okay. And I duck down as my Stimfei fires feathers. And that'll hit, and the Stimfei destroys him. Yay. So you do a roll, and then the Stimfei flies over it, over you, and then shots the feathers right at, you, at the gargoyle, breaking him apart. Or that's the version that Skyra's gonna write down. Yes. Yeah. Man, should have just jumped down the hole. <laughs> Somewhere down the hole, Xenon is wondering, like, I'm, I'm yeah. sure they were right behind me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to quickly cast some Cure Wounds on myself. <laughs> uh, four. Four hit points. Yay, me. Cure Wounds. Iris uh, looks at you and is like, um... You want me to heal you as well, but I can only cast two more spells today. Uh, let's wait and see what we got to face next. Right. Ow. And I'll put you on the right map. There. I suppose I could run back to those stones and just wait ten minutes. Yes, <laughs> you can. But then I feel like I'll miss out on the rest of the adventure. <laughs> Wow. This looks interesting. What 
Spitting word. Did you hear lots of music coming from, uh, coming from uh, in there? Huh. What? <laughs> I see Xenon enjoying dance lessons. I am having a very bad day. <laughs> you, see, you, you hear Xenon saying to this goat, uh, this goat leg. So that's how you do the two step. Oh, I thought it was this way. <laughs> it starts. It starts uh, d doing a like a boot scoot boogie. <laughs> And the, and the girl is just like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's like this. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. I, I, I look over and, uh, it's like, you look like you've been hit by a cyclops. What happened to you? A lot. And, and weren't you right behind me? I thought you were coming through the hole. <laughs> Big old wings. He'd get torn to shreds. It'd be just as bad a shape. I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. Uh, we uh we faced uh Lord Xenon, we faced uh or Lord Consort, we faced uh slime monsters that came out of the water and two stone statues that awakened to try to stop us. Uh, well, right now, just call me the Lord of the Dance. Wait, right now, you call me the Lord of the Dance. And, and, uh, two, we're about to face a dryad who's been, uh, eating young people who want to be cool. Uh, and, uh, but I have convinced him that just because people bullying him doesn't mean he's that cool. By the way, I forgot a detail that you Xenon would know, and that's my bad, because I just saw it on the page here of the book. You would know who Demetria is. Because Demetria okay. is the half-sister of Versi, and they are on uh, they are on very bad no-speaking terms. Oh god, oh god. Um, okay. So, like, Could... Versi, the Oracle, hates Demetria. Okay, okay, so... Could I, I? I know this is bad. not. I know this isn't mutants and masterminds, but could I add a complication? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Demetria and uh, uh, Zedon met Demetria first, and but fell in love with Versi, and Demetria is still into Zedon, sure. but maybe not in a good way. <laughs> Like in the, I want you to be part of me. Hang, 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 hang. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You complete me, uh, because I'm gonna put your arms on my on my head, that kind of thing. Maybe I don't know. It's up to you. But uh, I get nothing out of that, unfortunately. But no, you get fun. An inspiration. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought I just thought it would be funny. Yeah. Nah, but it was my bad anyway that I didn't tell you. Like, oh wait, shit, yeah, that was a thing. But if you had told me, I, it would be the same thing. <laughs> but that is the reason Tina was like definitely waiting for them because like, nope, nope, not not going in there with my ex by myself. Nope, <laughs> not doing that. My sorta of ex. As Iris hears the Demetrius, like, oh, first she's not going to like this. <laughs> nope, we're not going to tell her either. Hide. She points at the water. Oh. Oh, this is going to get really complex real quick. Uh, you just you just see Xenon facepalm. Uh, okay. Uh, young person, go wait upstairs, please. Uh, I actually know Demetria, and um, y you're not going to like what's going to happen next. The other kids that, that were with her, they became so cool. What happened to them? Well, they went to a special dinner with her, and they went to the extra chamber, the, uh, the cool kids sleeping chamber, and they turned their, their they got horns and they uh, got and their and their 
and their skin turned grey. And they became so cool. And they became excellent dancers. No, oh, no, that's not cool. Uh, that's called a curse. Hmm. Are you talking about these guys? I point to the goat thing. <laughs> nah, man. Not us. Uh-uh. Alright. Oh. All right. Uh, skin turned gray and a uh, horn. Goat- goatlings are goatlings aren't uh, aren't uh, aren't born by uh, aren't born by curses. Uh, uh, Want to see how goatlings are born? You're an Amazon um, being hit on the, a guy goat. And the goatlings are like super. Sh- the, the goatlings are small creatures. They're the size of halflings. And, and Amazon's hate men in the first freaking place. Uh, can I make a history check or an arcana check to see if I know what these things they described are? Um, well, they didn't give a very good explanation. So okay. you could make one, but it would be with disadvantage. This, okay. Uh, be with uh, that would probably be a miniat. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, but we'll keep it with miniat, which is a uh, a human transformed into a fae. Oh. And to a very dark fae that uh, oh. that feasts on uh, feeds uh, feasts on on uh, on flesh and all sorts of things. Uh. Yeah, I, I mentioned this. It's like, yeah, you don't really want to eat your family. You you don't really want to eat your family. And also, you know what's the coolest thing in the world to be? Is being yourself. And I'm going to try another persuasion because that is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. I'll give you advantage for that one. Yes, I will try and be my true self again. I will wait outside. Now it's a good thing that you guys that that uh, Everine actually took down the uh, the traps and things because else the traps would have murdered him. Oh, yes. I did not know about the traps. But yeah. hopefully, Everine would have. Oh no, no, she wouldn't have known about him either. Okay, cool. The way is clear. See, <laughs> right said... choice. Because <laughs> else you would have walked out and you would have seen his corpse. Let's just go. The way is clear. As I just like put some ointment on some scratches. All right. Well, let's go talk to my girlfriend's sister. All right. Well, we got we uh, we got uh, we two as the two goatlings say we're going to the rave. Mm. Wait, oh. hang on, aunt, aunt, yeah. Remember aunt, to hydrate. Question. I have a question. Sure. Did you steal a horn from a temple? Can we have it back? We don't have it anymore. Who'd you give it to? To Lady Demetria. Uh, mm. it, it, it's taking all my personal self-control not to throttle you right now. Go to, go to the Hope rave. She promised us a kiss. When do you steal something for uh, for a pretty kiss? From from a kiss from a pretty person. Uh. No. Ah, you're boring. That's why you can't, that's why you needed dancing lessons. Makes you morally flexible, and so you can do cool shit like us. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Oh. Let's go to the rave. Sniff some mushrooms. Bye bye. So they walk off towards the uh, this direction. I was starting. To, I was starting to like goldings. <laughs> Not so much anymore. Well, um, I, I look at Iris and Kyra, and uh, and um, uh, what is your name? Uh, Everine. Everine. Stay about thirty feet behind me, just in case. This one is just as this one is just as jealous as her sister. Great. Yes, if not more so. So let's start. Wa- uh, actually, I am going to 
What would this be to try to like make myself like in the water and try to make myself look better? That'd <laughs> uh, be a performance check, maybe. Yeah, I think performance. Okay. Uh, I'm not healing myself all that great. Oh <laughs> uh, wow. I mean, I get the muck off and and the sweat, but. Suddenly disappeared for me. Oh, there oh. she is again. Ah, ah. Ooh, gone. Ah. Yeah, I use, the ninja. With an eleven, I I I I I use prestidigitation to get the muck and the sweat off. But so I'm presentable, but I'm not necessarily yeah, you, like you, gorgeous. You, like you don't embarrass yourself with an eleven, but you yeah. don't humiliate yourself either. Yeah, but I do bend over and kiss the water, just like mm -hmm. I was. <laughs> I swear, it's easy my fault. <laughs> I say to the water, like it can hear me, because it might be able to. Hmm. Oh, Lady Demetria, it's you, uh, been a yeah, while. This is not Lady Demetria. As you look, oh. this is just. A different dryad. But you oh. see here a uh, a satyr. Looks like this. Uh huh. A group. And now I'm gonna roll for something. One, two is Xenon. Three, four is Everine. Uh, five, six is Iris. Should I add uh, Kyra to it? Yes, yeah, because it's funny. All right. Seven, eight. Kyra. I think that's Everine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you see the uh, you see the satyr stare at uh, Everine, and then look at the other satyr and the dryad stare at Everine again. Uh, just and looks awkwardly at look around. <laughs> and he draws his short sword. And in one slash, he cuts both their uh, cuts both their uh, cuts both their throats. Duh. He drops the short sword and runs towards Everine. I will stop him. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I will get in front. It's like, um, can I help you? I have se I have traveled the world and s never seen such beauty before. The sadness, it, bur it deepens my heart in burden and desire. Please accept this rose, my young lady. Uh, could I make a history or arcana check to see if accepting the rose will bind them in any way? Sure. Because go ahead. This place is very um yeah, go superstitious. Ahead. You know, I'm just explaining to myself. Uh, there's always one everywhere I go. There's always one. <laughs> Uh, you, you look at the rose and look at it, and, uh, and you think about Seder lore, and you're like, "No, that's a normal rose." Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. So, so I was like, "Go ahead, but I, if you touch her without permission, we will all stomp you." I would never just... touch a goddess without permission. Why did you kill the other two? Just. So I because know. they had bad attentions to you. They wanted to attack you, and I needed to protect my goddess. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm going to go talk to Lady Demetria. Would you like to continue protecting her while of we course. go? Of course. For you, she he tries to pass and goes on one knee. For you, my lady. What is your name? Uh, hang on. My name is Orina. Orina, what a beautiful name! I swear to you, Orina, I will be your servant until you accept my love. I swear an oath of servitude to you, forever and always, for you are the greatest creature oh. to have ever existed. I'm that laughing my ass off. Very <laughs> I have failed my constitution, and I am laughing my ass off. 
So Kyra like approaches Sir Adam and says to Xenon, So you don't think Everine is attractive? I mean, I am so covered she whispers in blood. In the, in the, in the, in the ear of Xenon. Um, I think everyone is attractive, but I think it's hilarious that one, it wasn't me this time. Uh, uh, and I look at Iris, and Iris is looking back at me like, You dodged that bullet. Uh, it's like, it wasn't me this time, because it's always me. And two, she has to deal with that, and I don't. That's why it's funny. I guess I have no I whisper that. choice but to accept your offer of protection as you have made an oath to me. I will follow you to the ends of the world, my lady. Oh my god, I forgot oaths are really important here, aren't they? Yeah, if, if, uh, basically the oath of servitude basically makes him uh, her slave. If, if she gives him an order and he refuses it, then Furies will come to punish him. Now a henchman! <laughs> a deranged psychotic henchman! I am really uncomfortable with this. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Uh... Sure. But you look hurt, my lady. Do you want me to heal you? If you can heal me, sure. Uh, you just go ahead. He runs towards there and he picks up some flowers. Each of these flowers will heal you for a little bit. I can oh. make I can make about I can make about twenty a day. But oh. they only last for twenty four hours. That's Comes down to he has a good berry. He can cast good berries twice a day, but then they're uh, flowers. Ah. Uh, I, I I start humming sexual healing as I'm walking towards Lady, Lady Dimitri. I, I just glare <laughs> at you with just a nasty look. <laughs> is Iris laughing at this, or is she like taking this completely seriously? She's used to these sorts of things, but she just yeah, they, she's like oh, so. This is not the so. This is not the uh, so. This is strange. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I, you have no idea. Uh, uh -huh. I, you have no idea how happy I am as I, like as I'm smiling and laughing. He's like, okay, maybe you do. And Kyrus is looking at like, what? I don't understand. I mean, it normally happens after I've started singing and. It's not usually as drastic as an oath. You deserve nothing less, my lady. Mm. Everyone should make an oath of service to you. Oh, I'm so glad this didn't happen to me. Out of character. So glad. <laughs> okay. With the other group, yeah. that was, uh, was hilarious because it was the Minotaur that got him. <laughs> uh, whereas the other characters were like a a a, a, a gorgeous half nymph, a, uh, a, a two demigods, a uh, a half elf who had uh, like a super high charisma, was a pretty boy, and then a uh, a sexy uh, cleric, and uh, and, uh, and he fall and I and I ran the role, and he falls in love with the Minotaur. Oh my! Oh, oh so <laughs> you hear the bull roaring that night. Oh god! <laughs> so the Minotaur was into him. Yeah, that that's even funnier. Yeah. Okay. But, but here's the thing: what I read about the Amazons is they don't like men, correct? Too. Except for breeding purposes, mm -hmm. and, the, and then those men tend to disappear. Yes, <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Okay. So uh... I'm so glad I'm not mad right now. Uh, or or. What? Yeah. So, um, what's your name? My name is Loris. Loris. Okay. And I will be your champion of flowers. <laughs> okay. I. How may I help you, my lady? Uh, well. We came here because a bunch of goatlings stole a horn, and we'd like to get it back. Ah, the 
horn. If you know yes, it. it is with Lady Demetria right now. Hmm. Yeah, we, we are going to go talk. We are going to go talk with her. It has been like a while to since. Escort you to her. Yes, but yeah. before you do that, uh, can you tell us about her current mood and any protection and other things in the room that would come in handy? Currently, she has a. She is on dinner with the four coolest kids in the uh, in the uh, that she has kidnapped, mm-hmm. and they're here, and she is preparing them for the transcension to coolness. Oh God! As well as she has a Geigen bodyguard. Uh, out of character, do we know what Gigans are? Yes, they are Cyclopses. They uh, look like this. Six arms oh, Cyclopses. God. And um, before uh, you would know, because you would have, you have actually on your dragon, you would have fought a lot of them. They were the uh, dominant race in Tylea before the settler races and the, and the dragon lords came. And they were not very nice. The, you have to think of them like, for example, in Faerun, you had the ancient giant empire, and Tylea had the ancient Gigan empire before before the settler races came. They were the main soldiers of the uh, of the Titans. Uh, are these Gigan and uh, Lady Dimitri lover- lovers currently? No. Damn it! I could have used that against them. Okay. At the Hearing of this, I just shove ten of those flowers straight down my mouth. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now you get healed for ten. Yay! Would you like more, my love? I'm, I'm good How for now. How do the flowers taste? <clears throat> uh, mm-hmm. I have no idea, but tasty. Floral. Have you ever had honeysuckle? No, no. I've never eaten flowers myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, honeysuckle are freaking delicious, but they're not. So you suck the, uh, you you break them off and then you suck the bottom of them, and basically it's like nectar in them. So I would assume that they taste like honeysuckle. Yeah. Yeah. If they're delicious. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Lady Demetria. As we're going to talk to to her, I'll I'll go near the water and splash my face in the water, and then like caress my hand across it. It's like it wasn't me this time. I had nothing to do with it. It, and I'm laughing while I say this, and then splash the water a little bit, and then head towards Lady Demetria. Hey, Boris, follow me. Lead the way. To the ends of the earth, young man. <laughs> I'm having a really bad day. Honestly, or I'm a really happy, great uh, day. I'm just happy I rolled a player because it would have been so awkward to roleplay this with Iris. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, w- I was hoping you would get Kira. I uh, I just had a feeling that this was going to be real bad, and I was hoping you would get Kira since she would probably l- adore this. Uh, uh. Alright, so you move past one door here. Oh, uh, what's in that door? According to Lady Demetria, the cool kids' chamber. Oh dear. So basically, a summoning or ritual chamber. Good, good to know. Two of them are probably are still inside. Oh. Do you think they have changed it? Sorry? Do you think they have changed yet? Probably. She already has two successes. Okay, let's keep going. What, and what is in the door next to us? This is the, the sleeping, other. This is the sleeping chambers for the kids that have not transcended to coolness yet. Ah. Hmm. So, yes. Up there to the front is the kitchen. As you hear lots of gurbling uh, uh, from the kitchen door. 
I'm going to take a peek in just real quick. All right, you see two goatlings in there and they're cooking and they both have an apron and a chef's hat on. How clean do these two goatlings look? They look like this, but then with an apron and a chef's hat on. I mean, okay. got it over the words. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to press it. In the, in, the, in the chef's hat. <laughs> like, without them knowing about it, I'm going to press the stitch to take them both. <laughs> just get, uh, to make them as clean as possible. Just in case we have to eat anything from this kitchen later. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then we continue on. As they start talking to each other, like, so how do you prepare the toes? Well, I first crunched them a bit. No, no, you shouldn't crunch them. You should fillet them. Bit by bit, and then remove the toenail. Uh... Could, could I just ask exactly toes of what? You ask it to, to, at, uh, at uh, Loris, or do you ask it at the goat links? The goat links. Because they didn't know that you were there yet. <laughs> Yeah, they, they can only see my head, my hooded head. It's like, can I ask what? Oh, the toes. Yeah, the toes. To toes of what? The toes of the not cool kids. I hate this place. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, I did not make that wisdom saving throw, so. Things are going to happen. Just not at the moment. Okay. So when uh, Xenon comes back to the party as she's passing by all of you, you notice that her eyes are glowing? Their eyes are glowing? <laughs> like the same look that they had uh, when they uh, helped at the temple. door will lead to the dining, cha the dining chamber. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she kicks it open. They kick it open. A couple of, uh, of kids there in togas and everything e <laughs> eating from the table. As you, uh, as you see the guy in there standing right next to Demetria. Mitria is sitting on her chair and then looking up. Who comes in? Sinon! Demetria! Yes! How's Fursi? Haven't talked to her in. what is it? 500 years! Well, uh, she was attacked by a Titan's forces. Uh. and, uh. force and tortured. So sad to hear. Well, at least she survived, right? Or not uh, anymore? Yes, she survived. Like, is she smiling from ear to ear when she hears this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, they're not on good. Would you like a bit of it? Would you like a bit of dinner? We're preparing. No. We we uh, we are celebrating that these kids won the dance off challenge. No, I do not want dinner because I know what it is. And I am very, very disappointed. Disappointed? Why? What have I done? Well, you're feeding children to other children, and then turning children into dark fae. Oh. You forgot I am very, very smart. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's why I liked you so much in the past. Your big brain! Liked in the past? You. Well, 500 years is a long time. True, I can't true. say I, I, I don't, I can't say I don't occasionally uh, daydream of days past. Yes, yes. Um, is there anything I could do within reason that would stop you from your per current machinations and... Also, I need the horn for obvious reasons, as you know, I'm a dragon lord, and it's the dragon lord's horn, and 
you know, stuff. Give me a sec, I'm looking at the uh, info here. And I'm, tr I'm trying to do a persuade, but I'm doing it at disadvantage because I'm very, very pissed. <laughs> oh, I have something. <laughs> the... Something, huh? Hmm. I have something I would love. I want from you a very long, passionate kiss for old time's sake. As you see, you hear a gasp from Iris, like. <gasps> And you will give me the horn, and stop tur turning children into Dark Fae, and stop feeding children to other children. Well, here's the thing. I don't do anything. Or, well, I, oh, correction, I do do the Dark Fae stuff. But the children eating the children is completely voluntary. I feed. don't force it down their throats. Yeah, but you don't have to feed them. That yeah, the would children. be so savage. If people ask me for food, I present it to them. If they don't yeah. like the food, they don't have to eat it. So but you don't have... So I'll another deal on that. I will give you the horn for the long, passionate kiss. But... You... But you can convince the children to stop wanting to be with me. This is the lamest temple I've ever been to, and the meals here suck. I haven't even tried it yet. And everything here is the most uncool thing I have ever seen. Are you like like looking at the satyr as you say that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at the kids. <laughs> oh, 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 that. Woo. It can make me a persuasion check. <laughs> Or a deception check. Whichever you prefer. I will help her with the persuasion if it's a persuasion. Go ahead. Persuasion! Go ahead, make a per persuasion check, uh, Tariq, see if you get a, she gets a bonus from yours. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot your rules. Yeah, I'm, uh, well, 22 is a success, <laughs> so she gets a plus 4. That's a 20, so her persuasion check turns yeah. into a 23. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you're right, Dan dancing is stupid. I mean, it hurts my butt. This is stupid. And the, and, the, and, the four, and the four kids at the dinner table, who have already eaten their fair share, start walking out. Hey, friends. Temple's lame. <laughs> uh, so, I look at my friends real quick. Uh, so... We could get the horn without any, um, without any problems, and um, with uh, without any issues. If I give her a long, deep kiss, who is for this and who is against it? I mean, you're the one that's gonna have to deal with your girlfriend. <laughs> Iris raises her hand. I'm against this. Give me the exact reason. I don't want the oracle to be hurt. She does seem cool. A little yeah, crazy, yeah. but cool. Harris, uh, I raises think... his hand. I'm for this. Love should always find a way. Unless I'm you're not being in love with her. To her. Point to... But the pleasures of the flesh are also in real need. Point to... And except unless you are promised to this young, beautiful goddess, points at Everine, you can do, you should enjoy every single bit of the flesh. But well, that's I will another... become celibate until you, you see my love back, my love. You're going to be celibate for a long time. She's an Amazon. Uh, <laughs> but that is another vote against because I'm definitely not taking your advice. And look at Kyra. Kyra looks at her notes. Hmm. Yes. Um, <sighs> I'm, th I'm thinking of what would be the best part of the story to add the drama. And having two sisters fight for the same man. 
and be uh, where they're both in love Person. and they're showing their lives. I say do it! Uh huh. Do it! I, I look at Everine. I'm having a bad day. I just think it'd be worse if you did it. <laughs> so, Your girlfriend if ever... scares me. <laughs> she scares me too. Uh, so, I message Everine in her head saying, when my plan was to kiss her and while looking deeply into her eyes, turn her into stone. Mm -hmm. That is an option. Yes, but I really don't feel like fighting a, this thing right now, especially as hurt as you are, but I think, yes. Uh, yeah, so I turned around like, the, the kissing is off the table, because if I was dating you, I'd have to be faithful to you too. So unfortunately, that is off the table. Anything else I could do? A tap dance? Belly dance, something like that. She's thinking. Oh. Would that work? Um, like she's uh, like she, you see her thinking about your offer. Like, hmm. while she's thinking about the offer, do what do I know about? I uh, you said I know a lot about these particular types of cyclopses. Yeah. Do I know if they know a lot about Medusa? Because I wasn't a Medusa when I was fighting. Uh, yeah, Medusas have existed for a very long time, so they would know. Uh, they 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 would know at least common knowledge about Medusas. <laughs> Because I was thinking about look, looking longingly into his eye and turning him into stone. <laughs> if he was like butt dumb and didn't look away. I believe officially you can only do that at level 5. Like, I just allowed it for roleplay purposes uh, oh. just for, uh, the, the, the last time. I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, because it was uh, really cool. If you, did the if you did the kiss and tried to turn her into stone, I would have also allowed it for roleplay purposes. <laughs> yeah, but again, it, it, it was... The, the votes were against it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, only your vote, uh, vote matters. Well, no, it was just like... It was... To, to, to her, it, I mean, to them, it was morally ambig ambiguous because of... Um, it's like, I okay, it's just in case. I want you to... She grabs a, uh, a uh, can of... She uh, grabs some water. Speak into this water and declare that the best night of your life was with me and not with Fursi. It would have been safer to just kiss you. Um, uh, let me ask a question. Where is the... Uh, can we see this horn? It's right in front of me. It's on the table. It's out... out yeah, no, don't... I didn't say that out loud, but... Mm -hmm. uh, because I have an invisible, undetectable mage hand, which is basically telepathy and... I was thinking about like just telepathically, I mean tel teleconnect teleconnectnesis teleconnectly pulling it to me, but literally, uh, literally, just, literally in front of her. But. Yeah, it, yeah, it would start levitating in front of her and move away, so that's not gonna work. It's like, um, I don't think that's a deal. Um, oh, oh, oh! I'm been playing all. I, I've been being very cooperative, and you keep shutting down everything. What is See, this, Xenon? I said, I said reasonable. Well, I'm dating you. It's your... supposed to be a, a, a deal where both people walk away happy <laughs> from the deal. Uh, I will, I will do so something else. 
and I will take a glass that glass of water and say, uh, dear, your sister is as lovely as she was 5,000 years ago. Not as lovely as you, but still very attractive. And still very, very interested in her interest. <laughs> Go ahead and make a deception check with disadvantage and this DC is super high. A deception check? Yeah. Against who? <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my inspiration for this. Uh, that one become normal, but the DC is still really high. <laughs> yeah, I know. She just looks at you, she just looks at you like... I you thought that would have been You though. know per, uh, first he is not going to be angry from that. Yeah, that She's was... not going to ruin her, her year. <laughs> so, so basically... So basically there's nothing you want other than just to make her miserable. Well, of course. She went, ah. she went against the will of, of Auntie Lefina, Lefiria and our father, Sidon. But I thought you were one of the ki cool kids, and all cool kids rebel, and, uh... <laughs> I've seen, uh... <laughs> ah! She laughs a bit. <laughs> Because I'm trying to cool persuade her. All cool kids uh, rebel. Yes, but when we get older, <laughs> we see the wisdom of our parents, and we go beyond our, uh, go beyond our puberal tent tinter tantrums. Well, my parents would need uh, to marry Lord Estoc, and someone here convinced me not to do it. Would you like me to go back to that asshole? If he was still alive? <laughs> yes, still alive. As she grins. <laughs> Wait, oh god. Uh, I'm gonna insight that. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, she's not even trying to hide it. Like, she, like the moment you say that, she has like an internal uh, like giggle. Like, <laughs> he's still alive? Yes. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. So I I just physically face palm and just like, okay, he's still alive. That's great. Great. Okay. We would very much like that horn, and I don't think there's any way I can convince you because if a twenty-four couldn't convince her. I don't think there's any way I can convince you well, I to give... I it because I didn't give permission for the role. Oh, okay. So this doesn't count. Hey. Uh... Alright, then I'm going to try another uh, persuasion check. Uh, please. Alright, with what argument? Well, the argument oh, was you... with the... With the cool with kids, the... yes. Cool. Really cool. Uh huh. Yeah. Wasted at twenty-four. But uh, okay. No, it's a sixteen because I did use my uh inspiration. No, that you used for your deception check that you failed. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Somehow oh. I doubt a six-armed cyclops is a humanoid. <laughs> Tell you it's a giant. Why are you asking? Because <laughs> I'm sad. Okay. And my sad songs charm people. Well, well, well. <gasps> Sometimes when I'm sad, I eat something. Why don't you try something on the table? Hmm. Just said the food sucks here. I yeah. Think she hasn't even tried it yet. Maybe you'll love it. I know some yeah. of your other kin would love this. Watch out for the toenails. 
Which? Oh, I'm stop. sorry, could you elaborate on that last statement? Sirens, harpies, what is the difference? Both lost their home. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna back up when she says that. <laughs> Having a bad day. Yeah. You want to rephrase that? How so? Sirens, harpies, what is the difference? I will jump on the table. Both of you disappointed the titans. Uh, As my jump on the table. Sank your, sank your home, to home city. Yeah. I'm going to jump on the table and I'm going to throw my chakram at her head. All right, I'll give you inspiration for that. <laughs> for the 12 misses, but we'll roll for initiative. I, I knew that was going to occur. I was actually about to tell Demetria, you don't want to say that. This is like my only warning. She knew what she was doing. Yeah, but sometimes stupid is stupid. Uh, can't talk now. Call me in about an hour and a half. Uh, what's up? I, I don't. I don't know. I didn't even know that existed. So I. I got. Oh. Okay. Okay. I. I will talk to you later. I will talk to you later. Uh, I, I, I gotta go. But... Sounds you guys like hear me? Salesperson. Yeah. Oh, God, I thought I muted myself. Shit. Yeah. Uh, that, no, that, that, that was my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he wants to know about this free uh, internet thing that Biden did, and I'm like, I don't know. I didn't even know he did it. So the it must be one. muted. The first one is Loris. My love... She insulted you. I will take her down. Oh, hold on. I need to roll. I'm sorry. I thought I wrote. Sixteen. Uh, in this case, every in your first. <laughs> As I re- uh... Okay. So, I will start with a bonus action. Cast Hunter's Mark. Right. Uh, on, uh... Dimitri, as they take a step forward, um, I throw my unbroken chakram. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so then I'll have my stimfei. Uh, fly up just over my shoulder and uh, is scream at her. All right, constitution save for her. Mm -hmm. That she fails. Yeah, so that's 1d6 psychic damage. And she's deafened for a turn. Yes. Then it is Alora's his turn. Yeah, he can make it. He runs up towards uh, her with a short sword. And he will attempt to ram her with his horns. Love will prevail! And hits her with his horns. Doing 8 damage on her. She's starting to like this guy. <laughs> How dare you! How dare you, girl! Cross my love. Xenon, your turn. See. Why does everyone always charge? Why does everyone always charge up to these assholes? Uh, yeah. Um. I am going to throw a chromatic orb. It is going to do psychic damage. Um, the guy gun. Let me check real quick. Uh, it 
barely hits him, just not enough. So it doesn't do any damage? Yes. Yes, it does do damage. Yes, yeah, it, it does doesn't do. It doesn't do any damage. Yes, it does do okay. any damage. As it missed him, just barely. You almost hit him. Okay. Then that will be my turn. Oh, I'm going to move away from Isis as to that be in the fireball range. And Iris, I mean. No, it was Isis. Iris. Iris. Okay. Isis is bad people. No, it used to be a respectable name because it was the name of an Egyptian deity. Yeah. Alright, uh, that ends my turn. Alright, then it is Iris' her turn. We'll walk a bit closer right around here. And, uh, I think I'm gonna help him out in that situation here. And she will use a spell slot to cast, um,. Uh, bonus action, Shield of Fate on Aloris. Hey. And then a Sacred Flame on Demetria. Which she fills, taking 6 damage. And then it is the Gigan's turn. Well, the Gigan has 6 arms. And the Gigan will uh, try and use his first attack to try and grapple Loris. With a seven. Succeeding, even with the uh, with the um, with the um, with the thing, because the Gigan has an attack roll and then it auto grapples if it hits your AC. And then it has Loris, and then he has two spears in his other hands. And he will try and stab Loras with the two spears. With advantage, because it is also restrained. 22 will hit. Doing 16 damage on the first attack. And wait. 19 will hit as well. Wait, wait, 12 wait, damage. Wait, uh, one question. What was Loras' AC? Because remember, he had a I know. negative 2. Oh, okay. He has a plus two to his AC, but a 22 and a 19 still hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought the 17 was the grapple, but okay. Yeah. So, yeah, and the 17 would also still hit. Yeah. So that is uh, 28 damage total on Lord. He that is not wrong. <laughs> ah! Don't worry. Don't worry about me, my lady. I would gladly lay down my life for you. Demetrius turn. Oh, gladly your life, huh? She tears, she picks up a club and uh, looks at you and looks at Loris. Don't you dare. No. He loves you too much. I'm gonna make him watch her kill you. She runs uh, across the table with her with, with her club and tries to hit you, Afrin. Yeah. Twelve is a miss, I assume. Yep. All right, Afrin, your turn. Okay. Uh, bonus action. I will uh, call out my battle cry for all that we have lost. And I will attack with my chakram. Bam! <laughs> and with a hunter's mark as well. Oh, yeah. So that doubles damage too. Mark. Oh. Let me do the map. How do you want uh, to do this? I don't want to do this. Okay. So she runs at me with her club, and I kind of. Uh, dodge back and as I'm calling my battle cry I just like slice her across the neck as she falls down just behind me <laughs> and off the table I see this as like the uh, samurai standoff uh, slash but then with a shotgun yeah. and a stick 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the one that happened in Kill Bill at the end. Of yeah. No. Uh, back away. Just back away. Yeah. Then uh, I will have my stem fay. Uh, well, first, as she falls down dead, I will just stare at this uh, Cyclops guy and be like, let him go. Go and then my stem fay what? Make a intimidation check with advantage. Uh, intimidation with advantage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. The guy again lets him go and drops his spears and he raises all six of his hands. Yeah. May I leave? If, uh, if we do not continue this battle anymore. Uh, I look to the others. <laughs> but I would sure. offer you before you... Oh, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> he starts running away. But, but before he gets to the door, I'm like, Hey, I would offer you reputable employment. <laughs> if you don't want to leave. <laughs> No, this is way too dangerous. Way above my pay grade. Uh, way, way below my pay grade. <laughs> okay, bye. He runs okay. away. So I don't get him going in. Uh, I mean, that's like clap bodyguard. Oh, damn. Oh wait. As the battle begins, Loris runs towards the Gigan and Lady Demetria to take her to take them down for his ever love, but gets captured. And then a standstill comes with slashes between them, and in one fell swoop, at the same time, Demetria falls down by the shock of the chakra. Yeah. I'll uh, help you edit that later. <laughs> A shock of the chakra. Walk to the end of the day, Mark. So I crouched down to Laura, so just like, how are you feeling? I have never felt this great before, as you cared about my feelings. Thank you! Please shove some flowers in his mouth before he starts talking. Yeah. I, just, I give him back the rest of the flowers. The just, flowers that you didn't eat. <laughs> yeah. Like, You're feeding me! Probably. Thank you! This is the best day of my life. Loris, maybe you should stand back and fight from now on. I, I just disengage you. I... Yeah. Uh... I will go wherever my lady asks me to. Okay. I'm just gonna pick up the horn. And walk back across the table and jump down. I feel like, I just like give a uh, scene on a look. Like, I don't know what to do with this guy. <laughs> uh, as you shove the horn at Xenon, Xenon just laughs uh, as you give him that look and looks back at you and mentally says, uh, "Now you know how I feel all the time." Oh, um, die. <sighs> uh, but mostly just my best advice is to keep him at arm's length and don't encourage him too much. But mm -hmm. Treat him like a person, but don't encourage him too much. Mm -hmm. This is how the horn looks, by the way. That is a cool horn. Yeah. And we're supposed to drink from it? Uh, uh, smell if, of if you pain. drink it, you get visions, but maybe it's not the best idea to drink, drink from it, it right, right now. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna go back to town, but plus we gotta go talk to the the king if we can get an audience. Yeah. Oh, uh, I look at I look at um, Kyra. It's like, do you think you could get us an audience? With the king tonight or tomorrow. You seem very well connected. Well, but how would I be doing that? 
Again, you look very well connected and know a lot of people. Oh, thank you that you think that of me. I will do my best. Uh, can we do it tomorrow? I really want to sleep. <laughs> well, I mean, can't you just sleep for ten minutes? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's true. We could do that. But I'm thinking that it, it will even take Kyra at least into tomorrow to get us an audience with a deity king. Mm. I'm sure everybody and his mother wants to talk to them. Yeah, Pytor is a pretty busy guy. Yes. I think you'd want a dryad as an offering. Uh, nah. No. Didn't think so. But I know somebody who will. Uh, I will pick up the dryad's body and on our way out, I will dump them in the river. you see it flush away very quickly. <laughs> but, like, quicker than normal? Like, ridiculously fast. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, oh, we should probably, like, stop in and tell <laughs> all these guys that the cool kid party's gone. <laughs> Show's oh, over. You talking about the goat people, or? No, ah, the, the people who have yet to be turned into... Cool kids? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we, we do that. It's like, the not-so-cool kids... Yeah, you have to explore the map for that, though. <laughs> Oh, well, let's explore the map. Are they in this yeah. room over here? <laughs> yeah. I try to go through this door. Alright. Leoris, do you know where the not so cool kids are? Oh, now we have a rave party. Where, we're, uh, where there's smoking rooms. And uh, there's a sleeping chamber. Where uh, some of the really, really not cool kids are already the bed at this time. Yes, let's let's go see them first. Yeah. Right, follow me. Lead the way. Lead the way. Try not to reopen your wounds. <laughs> Do not oh, worry. What is it? I, I wear these as a badge of honor of the day uh, well, that I met you. Well, what is in these rooms over here? What, what There's I... one way that goes to the kitchen again and the sleeping t chamber of Demetria. Let's go to Demetria's sleeping chamber and see if she has anything cool. Oh, by the way, before I throw her in the river, I definitely check for any valuables. Uh, well, you uh, done. You uh, you find, I forget you find <laughs> a bow on her that looks very mythical and strange. Ooh. Short bow. Ooh. Uh, can clerics use short bows? I believe they can. Simple weapons. Yeah, simple weapons. Maybe, maybe if this is a really cool short bow, then uh, Iris can use it, but... Let... Well, I, I, I need to identify it first. <laughs> Curses seem to be a thing around here. Yep. Alright, so as we're walking, I'm identifying. Alright, it is a uh, named um, short bow. Let me check the name of where it is again. Alright, here I have it. The Shortbow of Cupidity. It is a attunement item, legendary status. It is a plus one shortbow to attacks and damage, and once per day on a successful hit, you can force the target to make a DC 14 wisdom save on a failure. The target is charmed by you for one hour. That sounds like that bow was made for me, but... Um... <laughs> I'm definitely going to hand it over to uh, Iris. I think you will get a lot of use out of this. Okay. 
Yeah, my uh, Sacred Flame hasn't been that great. Yeah, no. You've burnt a few people. Well, since you, you are going to be a Dragon Lord eventually, whether you like it or not, unfortunately, uh, since, you, as you see, the Titans already consider you one, um, I think you should have weapons appropriate to your stature. That was me trying to be uh, complimentary. As you say that, yes, Dragon Lord. As you look her, uh, see her looking at a necklace that she uh, she has on her neck that you haven't seen before. The necklace, or I mean, have I seen like the neck, like the, this type of necklace before, or just not the yeah, necklace yeah, on yeah, the yeah, neck? I've never seen her with a necklace on before. Okay, do I recognize the type of necklace it is? Yes, you've seen it in, uh, in Versi's Treasure. Oh, okay. So, I take it you and Versi's had a chat before you left? Yes. <sighs> we talked for a while. She gave me a future reading. And a past reading. Ah. Well, if you feel like talking about it, you know where I am. Uh, sure, Noel. She told me that um, that um, that uh, that she was my aunt. My uh, mother was her half sister. And uh, my grandmother was a mortal woman, a human that fell in love with Sidon, and Sidon fell in love with her. But then he changed his mind into uh, becoming family parts of people with um, of people with the uh, with the uh, with, uh, who are human. So he killed my gr grandmother. Uh, but my mother was already born, and we lived on the streets for a very long time. Of Mitros, at the bag, and she died out of thirst and hunger. But then, first she found me, but she told me that to that this necklace belonged to my grandmother once, and that it would be my destiny to help rebuild the Dragon Lords. And to make ready to defeat Sidon, her father and my grandfather. Uh, you see Xenon give a big old smile and say, but no pressure. Yes, that's what she said too. <laughs> uh, I would like to investigate this room, please. Yeah. You find it with ease. This is her sleeping chamber. And you find a little chest where you find two necklaces worth 100 gold each, nice. four rings worth 50 gold each, and six gems worth 50 gold each. Did we make gold last week? Uh, not that much. Because I have no money on my sheet, and I know that I had. Um, I I have to have some money. <laughs> Like the starter money. I got six gold. Yeah, you did. Uh, maybe you spent a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Well, also, then I give. For things, so you probably, like, yeah. a wizard book cost like 100 gold pieces or something. So probably you probably were broke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I gave my last gold to that guy for. Or a item. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this is a uh, total worth of like uh, you can convert it in gold if you want to. For me, that doesn't really matter, unless you really want the rings. But yeah, that uh, would well, be uh, two uh, in gold conversion. The total would be two hundred, uh, four hundred. Uh, math, math. You would just go to town anyway right after this and then sell it, so. Let me calculate. Yeah. Uh, 
né? Don't you have an engineering degree? No. What is your degree in? I'm sorry. Logistics. 700 hmm. gold, so that would be 350 gold for you guys each, unless you want Iris to also have something. Uh, yes. Yeah. Alright. Uh, 50 gold from each of us for Iris? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll add 100 gold to her, and you guys each get 300. I mean, she she may not be an equal partner, but she's a partner, so. Yeah. <laughs> no longer broke. Yes. You're not a wizard. And just, and just think of it like this: you also gave her a legendary short bow. Yes. Yeah. Which might be taken away just because. See how useful it is compared to a. It's a plus one short boat, so yeah, it's more used to her than to either of us. I'm not much of an archer, but if you ever need uh, any pointers, I have uh, had some is. training. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much. I should try and practice with this a bit more, and I also need to buy yeah. arrows. Yes. Oh, she Arrows have do help. help. <laughs> she Arrows. Have... Yeah. Currently, she doesn't have any arrows. No, no, I'm talking about the body didn't have any arrows on it. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Just the bow. <laughs> no. Arrows. She, that's why she, she didn't. All... That's that's why she didn't use it. She that was always. Su she was always such a poser. <laughs> such then, a poser. Because then she could have like fired the bow, hit you, and. Potentially charmed you and then still gotten what you wanted. Yep. But she couldn't do that because she had no arrows. So where uh, where to next? Okay. Well, we we rolled uh, the dryad's room and there was nothing else magical in it. Mm -hmm. Which I say sounding disappointed, but we got a legendary item, so I should be freaking happy. Uh, yes, this room. Yeah, I believe that's the kitchen, though. No, uh, this one down in the hall. Yeah, you didn't first oh, door. Character. Oops. Yeah. Down here. This is a room. I uh, open the door. Bunch of sleeping kids, the light comes in from the door opening, and they're like, Hey, we're sleeping, leave us alone, close the door again. Okay, so I'm assuming that I haven't th tossed her body into the uh, yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't reached the river yet. Yeah, it's like, uh, yes, Lady Demetria is dead because she wasn't cool enough, and she was feeding the uncool kids to the cool kids. So I suggest you get the hell out of here. And they remember... Don't. Huh? They don't know what cool is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And remember, the best way of being cool is being yourself. I say with make a smile... A... Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Uh, am I at disadvantage because I forgot to wear my hood? Yes. <sighs> Still a 12. Still good, and you're holding her. So, <laughs> as the, as they go away, gonna find another place to sleep. It's like oh. go back to the city, to the temple. They'll help you out. Bye. Plus, he, I'm sure they could use acolytes in the temple to help clean up. Yeah. I believe this is where the kids are changing into cool kids. Yes. I kicked the door know. open. I am very curious as to what they look like. Oh. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> as you 
see two uh, dancing miniats. As I look at you guys. Carried the corpse of their lady. Uh, what have you done? She attempted. As you're talking to her. She attempted to um to assault my friend here, and my friend was having none of it. Uh, He's so a bigot and bigots aren't cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, she was feeding people to other people. And that is definitely not cool. Well, we need sustenance, and it was delicious. Yes, but you can always go out and... You're, you're freaking fey now. You can always go out and get a deer, or... Go vegetarian! Yeah, they, as you say that, they look in disgust at you. Yeah. Uh, Bob also hisses at me. <laughs> it's like, shut up, Bob. Don't go killing people. But we'll die if we don't eat. You can eat lamb or deer or rabbits. You know what normal people eat. Oh, oh, wait. I have an idea. <laughs> Skyro does this. It took the power of the Titans to turn them into this. Uh huh. What? Rifles, a titan. A deity! Do we know any deities? And I'm looking straight at her. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Reasons! You made a sacrifice to a deity. Oh, wow, crap. You can yeah. try and use that power to turn them back into normal. It's what? worth a try. Yeah. How sure. would we do that? Simply say, I relinquish the, I relinquish your blessings to give them to these two. Oh. Couldn't we just take them to the king? Oh, he, he would need he would need another sacrifice to actually still do it. Power is traded. See, it doesn't work but, like that. Uh, I like I like being strong. Um. But since I'm on a streak of doing stupidly good things, I relinquish your blessing to help these two idiots. But we wanted to stay good. As they mid sentence, they start turning back to normal, and you get a minus one. One of them starts uh, turning back to normal, as you get a minus one on your strength score. I relinquish my blessing to. Save this idiot. <laughs> As also, no, 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 I want to stay. As they both turn into normal humans again. And before, before you get any ideas about being turned back into cool kids, you're, you were cannibals. We would have had to kill you. Mm -hmm. Look you at can, what happened. You can make an intimidation <laughs> check with advantage here. Well, no, that was his persuasion, but... It's but, definitely but, an intimidation. It's an intimidation when it's coming from a snake-haired lady carrying a corpse. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I agree with you. I, I completely agree with you. It was, it was a twelve. As they run away. <laughs> I, I, I believe that you actually said that to me. Like, yeah. No, I was trying to persuade them. No, it's an intimidation was coming from this, then act better. If I ask for, yeah. if, 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 if I don't ask for the role that you ask for. Cool. <laughs> no, it was cool. I mean, I could, I could have uh, tried to argue with you, but it's just like ah, the way she explained it. It's an intimidation. Shit. <laughs> My lady is always right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Now the last group of children here are at the rave party. Alright, let's go to this rave. Can we take like a two minute break? 
Sure. Tea. It's something to drink. All right, thank you. Um, yeah. I could do with getting a refill. I'll be back. No problem. Yeah. I already transported you guys to the grave. Yeah. Already have a plan to end this party. <laughs> the natural abilities of sad sirens to bum everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. But I don't okay, think you're talking to us. 
No, I was talking to you. Oh, that's oh. really far away. You are distant. Yeah. Like, we assumed uh, you were talking to someone on the phone or something. Uh, yeah. Far away because I'm away from my computer. Yeah. And I have, uh, I have a Wi Fi headset. Yeah. I'll be back in the room in a second. Still mixing with Ice tea. So, do you actually say that I'm planning on bumming everyone out? <laughs> uh, no. I maybe hint at <laughs> intending to sing to these people. <gasps> oh, God! Just imagine you, you could do like vocal uh, warm ups. If you want to, you can do it right now, uh, Everin. Okay. I, uh... I will step forward and clear my throat. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> long, long ago, a spy is rose. Piercing clouds in summer glow We danced through skies and waves below Our songs were sweet Our dreams of peace But all we wrought was titan's rage now home is not but ash and stone No more, no more our dreams are home Now only memory remains Long, long ago our spires rose Long, long ago no more, no more. <laughs> Go ahead and make me a performance check with advantage. Yeah. I don't, or I don't know if I should give you disadvantage or advantage with with the fact that you want to bum everyone out. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to like be like get the result that you get from a very low roll, or do you want the result you want to get from a very high roll? Oh. Uh. Because I don't know either. Because your intention is to make them feel bad. Yeah, I just... So I'll, uh, you can decide if you have advantage or disadvantage, and if it has to be high or low, but you have to decide before you roll. I think you should have the advantage, because that was insanely good. Yeah. And I'm, like, almost in tears. This is like, shit. Yeah. Uh, and that's me, not even my character. Well, I'm trying to bum everybody out, so I think it should be a low... Now, because I got loads of bonuses, so I'm gonna go advantage on a high roll. <laughs> uh, nothing else. I'll get all their her attention. Okay. With a as the as the as the musicians stop and everyone like. <laughs> I want to go back to my mommy. I want to go back home. I miss my marriage. What about? And then you have the goat links like. Yeah, but what about being cool? Fuck being cool! I miss my home! I want to get back to Astoria! Uh, you've never seen snakes cry before. <laughs> like, just snakes crying, cheese crying. Hey, I'm a siren. I've seen everyone cry. <laughs> no, you've never seen snakes cry before. But you, the, uh, you do now. Have, as the teenagers all walk out crying, Crying to walk back home. <laughs> and I, affected by my own song, just collapse <laughs> onto my back on the floor. I will, as, like, I will think the, uh, as the four goatlings are like super disappointed. <laughs> like, oh no, a groove is gone. <laughs> oh no, the groove is gone. The rave doesn't go on anymore. No! Well, you can always. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to say this, but. You can always get a new groove. Yes, I heard and we practice. <laughs> and first off, we practice with you. That's the that's the uh, that's the uh, goatling that beat you last time two times and with different dances. I say, get your dance crew on, 
and we dance against each other. Pick your pick your participants. I'm looking pick at like her. Floor. I'm looking at her collapsing catatonic on the ground. Um, it's like I guess it's going to be me. Uh, Kyra, the um, the the, the Lorax over there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like, he like, walks towards uh, Everett and I was like, "My lady, are you okay? That was a gorgeous voice." Uh, Lorax, come help us. Uh, it will help her. Just leave her alone for right now. I will and try I... and cheer you up with excellent dancing. Yes, yes, you do that. Okay. <laughs> and, and so it's going to be me, the Lorax, um, <laughs> I, Iris, and. That's his name for me from now on. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and um, and uh, Kyra, if she's willing to participate. You want me on your team? Thank you so much. I love dancing. I'll try and give you an uplifting beat. <laughs> but Everin, can I can I use that song from one of my performances later on? Okay. Yeah, it All was right. something my mum would sing. Oh, God! Right. <laughs> you just start crying in the corner. <laughs> Stop you on that. Thank you very much for the song. Uh. All right, so how it works is I'll, I'll roll first the checks for the goat links, and I'll count it all together. And uh, if you guys, as, as the four people performing, exceed it, then you won the dance-off. Yeah. Uh, I will mentally tell I Iris to guidance herself before she dances. All right. So that is 26, uh, 34, uh, plus 19. Four, 53 is their, is their combined dance-off skill. Could I help my team by sure. playing my loot? Yes. Wait, no, I didn't have money to buy a loot. I ah. just have proficiency. Never mind me, I am crying in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Iris will do a, uh, will do a, will cast a guidance and start dancing. Mm. All right, so that's 14. That's respectable. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do Kyra. Kyra will start dancing. That's a 34. <laughs> you see. You see Xenon standing there looking at Kyra like, the fuck? She, what she does is she basically lands on her, uh, she, she does a bat, she jumps, uh, uh, she jumps up on her head, lands on her hands, and then does the backswing while juggling and dancing and doing the Warforged. I've never seen such an impressive, beautiful dance. <laughs> well, then it's Laura's third. Well, that's not that good. He's too distracted at at, uh, at his love's uh, crying. Right. And now it's seen on. That's a six. So let me do the math. I think we still beat them, but just barely. Forty, uh, by nine, by five points, she beat him. And like, oh, it seems that you, it seems you have, as the, as the, as the, uh, as the goatlings are like, it seems you have a very, very respectable dance crew. We should do a dance off in the amphitheater again as a, as a, as a rematch. But now, goodbye. As they start running away. Yeah. And, and, and you're telling me you're not a deity. And you're telling me you're not a deity. You were literally juggling with your feet. Yeah, I practiced that like mm. lots of times. It was flaming torches. Well, I practiced very well. <laughs> okay. But here, let here, Everin, let me cheer you up. I'm gonna sing that song for you. Let's see. I want some tips if I'm doing it correctly. Okay. Good. Uh, 
Oh my god, it's perfect! <laughs> oh, thank you! Give me a hug! We're band members! I should yeah. learn your songs! Yay, band! Yay, no! no. Band. So, so in my head, she does like the happy remix. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, it's like the upbeat version of it. Like, uh, there, there's this band named Castile or something like that. And they, they always talk about like funerals, singing about funerals and stuff. But it's always really upbeat and chipper. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> And I'm imagining she's singing like that, and she's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh. That was good. That was incredible. Do you think your friend's going to be mad that we killed her sister? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Did you see how fast that ribble went? No. I blinked. Y- yeah, um, I'm pretty sure she's already with her sister. Uh, either being buried or raised. I'm not sure which one. Or, wow. or burned. But those are the three options. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, let's... Starting to feel better now. Uh, was there a DJ here? There were bad, there were, uh, some of the other Goatlings did music, but they, uh, they all left as well. Oh, I was about to say, that, that if there was a DJ Goatling, he's just in the corner crying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, weeping and staring. I'll never be that good! No, no. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, let's get out of here. I find it funny that Kyra literally rolled the exact same uh, number that Everin rolled for that song. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had a 20. Yeah. <laughs> got a 20 by rolling a 3. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the first time I tried this song. Uh, I practice it more often. Uh, are those, like, glowing mushrooms and such? hmm I will pick quite a few of them. For reasons you can find out later. Are you planning on po- on poisoning more generals? <laughs> uh, well, I hadn't planned on it, but now that you mentioned it, never a bad plan. <laughs> you can actually uh, make me an Arcana check from uh, this one. Ooh, okay. Because you did mention they were doing shrooms. You recognize these rooms, although you do need a either a medicine or poisoner's kit proficiency to do anything with them. But these rooms are intended to make them for truth serum that is inside the um, uh, monster manual or the dungeon master's guide. Oh, neat! That will be useful. I don't know if you actually have the skill, but. Uh. So you can only do it with medicine and poisoner's kit if you have that uh, skill. I think I can have a two proficiency, but I have to check again about the background. Right, uh, I do see just, uh, I just saw that Iris has a medicine proficiency and she still has the uh, channel divinity become proficient. Oh. So she oh. can technically make them if you have enough money to do the conversion. Oh, okay. Then I will pick quite a few of these. Like, Iris, do, do, would you like these to make uh, something later on, like a uh, true serum? I will do my best. All right. Yeah. I imagine you guys want to travel back to the town? Yes. Yes. I say right. We travel to the town, get a after room. We, yeah, after we search this place and make sure there's, we didn't leave anything important. Yeah. I, I will also grab that shield yeah. and its pieces because I want to repair it. Mm-hmm. I say we find somewhere, hold up, and rest, drink from this horn, and then return it in the morning. <laughs> All right. 
So there's only one large tavern in the uh, tra in the town, and that's the Dragon's Tooth. Oh. Is the tavern also an inn? Because. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> so, five rooms. My love, if you share a room with me, I will pay for it. <laughs> Five rooms. Five rooms, one at the far end of the hall. Actually, I will share a room with Loris. And I will pay for it. Don't worry, I don't need a room. Oh. I still have some business I have to contain to tonight. Okay. Yes, she was going to try to get us a... Um, Audience with the king, uh, but yes, I will. I will room with Loris mostly to try to keep him out of trouble. Yeah. All right. She's Have a good up. night and sleep well. Yeah. Uh, uh, goes out of the building and uh, and is gone. So are satyrs considered humanoids for the purpose of like charming and such? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That, that's good to know. Oh no, sorry, my bad. They're yeah. not in per like yeah. This is that They're weird fade. thing with um, it's that weird thing with um, how do you call it? Player character and uh, NPCs are different. Oh um, crap! Okay, like cool. Like if you play a satyr, uh, satyr class player class or satyr race as a player, then it counts as a humanoid, but an NPC satyr does not count as a humanoid. Same thing with yeah. like uh, Durigar are badass when they're NPCs, but they're suddenly a lot weaker when they're player characters because the yeah. growth is a lot weaker. Yeah. So one chain, uh, one, uh, one room costs uh, about uh, one gold piece per night here. That's expensive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, I'll pay for my room, and... Uh, the barkeeper, uh, Delphin, says that it's because so many refugees came in that the price is striked up for the rooms. Yeah, I'll pay for my room and Isis's room. Iris's room. Tomorrow I will like to ask about these refugees. But for now, I am tired. <laughs> Alright. So do you want to take a long rest first, or do you want to drink from the horn? Uh... Drink from the horn! Let us drink from the horn in the safety of our rooms. Yes. Or one of our rooms. Probably best that the others watch out for whoever's drunk from it. Uh, Loris will uh, watch the door, and uh, Iris and uh, you, Everine, and Xenon will drink from the horn, and the Stimfei is in the room t taking guard. Yes. Do not let Loris in here if I am an unconscious <laughs> clinky. Do not let him in. All right. You all get a dream again as you fall asleep from, uh, from your after, like you drink from the horn and like two minutes later, you all fall asleep and you all get uh, multiple dreams, but all of them the same. Ooh. You're standing on a deck of a beautiful galley. A bright cerulean sea stretches out before you. You look down at a strange bronze device in your hands. It seems to reflect the constellations of the night sky, even though the sun shines brightly overhead. The oarmen pull the ship through the waters faster than you thought possible. You look down at the men on the benches. They meet your gaze with dead eyes and a skeletal face. Dozens of leering corpses. That is the first dream you have. Xenon, you actually recognize this ship. And you recognize that device that, you're, uh, that you uh, that, uh, that we were holding. The ship is the Ultros. That is Estor Arklander's personal ship. And known as the fastest and most powerful ship in all of Thalia. The device is the Antitifica, 
or I'm always pronouncing this wrong, but Antitificera, I think, is the correct pronunciation. And that one is to basically navigate the Cerulean Sea to make the Ultras uh, travel faster than any normal ship. Now, for the second dream, you see the sea, and you see it, see it pu being pulled back and come back forth as you see an armada of ships riding the largest wave that you have ever seen in your life before. And the second dream, the second dream is um, you all uh, are um, are uh, in a um, dream, but you see human parts, torture chambers, set by set, different, each one more gruesome than the next. As you see that a tear opens in the torture chamber, leading to a different reality, and you see the mutilated corpses out of the torture chamber, struck down, towards this other reality, which you recognize as Phalia, different locations in Phalia, the, uh, the, uh, the island of the Amazons, Astoria, Mitros, the Temple of the Oracle, all these dream monstrosities are coming for them. The last one, or the, the second last one dream, is of the earth opening up and thousands of large hands coming outwards and grab it, uh, grabbing people and dragging them back into the earth. Sometimes grabbing someone and just throwing, throwing them miles into the air to go plop back on the ground. And then the last dream. It is Iris, Xenon, Everen, and two other people that you don't recognize, hard to see. One is pretty large, the other one slim built, riding dragons of different colors and riding towards these dangers. And then you wake up the following morning with a long rest and level five. Yes! Yeah! Yes. And now I will end the stream.